Hello, friends. How are we doing? Okay, so that's all working. This is all working. Cool. We're good. We're good to go. It's lovely. I hope you're all well on this Friday evening, Saturday morning, wherever the heck you might be. I do feel bad for my European friends. I haven't seen a lot of them in some time. But um, that's okay. That's okay. Maybe I should do an evening stream. Maybe I should do an evening stream this evening. I could. I could do. We'll see. We will see how I feel. Um, hello, Dirt Bambule. Hello, Sasquatch. Welcome aboard, my friends. I hope you are all well, except for... <clears throat> well, Nautiloy is unfortunately not well. Um, big shout out. Hope you feel better soon. Um, wait. Dirt Bamb- yeah, okay. You're... It's it's fine, you know you know that I'm a bit funny like that. Um, well, look, I hope it I hope it gets even better. I hope it gets even better for you. Um, shall we play? Shall we play? Because, looky, um, looky, let's go to desk and ye oldy last starship. Uh, has just had a major update. Um, Alpha 2 is the major update that we're talking about here. And this is a lovely, delightfully big uh, change list. Um, It is nowhere near as delightfully big as the KSP. Actually, it is pretty... uh, That's pretty heckin' huge. Um, The KSP 2 one was huger. um, But the last Starship is what we're here to play today. Um... So to break it down, there is a whole new a whole new wave of stuff that has been added. New resources, uh, new items, um, and basically the the ability for you to be able to produce your own. Uh, so you already could produce your own water, which meant that life support was basically, yep, totally fine. Um, and sustainable, and I made a YouTube tutorial about that. Um, but now you can collect gas uh, from uh, hyperspace jumps to make FTL fuel. You can ca- uh, capture gas from um, um, Metreon gas clouds. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just let's, let's just let's just press the go button. Let's just press the go button, and we'll just do it. We'll we'll explore. We'll explore together. Um, why, why, why you break? Oh, there we go. Uh, right. So we are now Alpha 2D, or as uh, Mark called it during the video, the Fred and Barney update, which I find very charming. And that's, you know, this is, this is introversion in a nutshell, right? I love these guys. Um, so let's go. I've subscribed to my own ship here, which is hilarious. Let's go and like, we'll grab. No, you know what? Let's just, let's just do a free roam. Um, we'll do, I guess the carrier frigate. Yeah. Let's start with the carrier frigate. I do like this ship. I find it to be very, very powerful. Um, oh, actually... That's one other thing that's been added. So survival is where the anomaly, like a vacuum collapse, is occurring. Um, but now there's free room where we don't need to worry about the anomaly. We can just fart about and enjoy ourselves. And I think that that's probably going to be a fun thing for us to do today. So let's begin. Here's our carrier frigate. Now, the other thing that um, they've changed is that upon arriving on the ship, the crew are going to bring, you know, on, on community-based vessels, the crew are going to bring, like, more stuff aboard. Um, so let's go ahead and see, first of all, what do we got? Reactor fuel loader, FTL, engine, engine. Okay. So we have the basic building blocks um, of what is required. Uh, but we also do need a couple of additional bits and bobs, and so for that, I want... Uh, boom, boom, shake, shake, 
the... Oh, there's only one tank? That's... Okay, well, in that case, don't worry about the scrubber yet. Or any of those. Uh, we get some water and O2. And some food. And... That'll do us for now. Let's get... Um... Let's, let's... That's better. That's better. Okay. So, let's begin with some power. And first of all, we're going to need a... Just a regular storage zone. Just there. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and get our reactor set up. And I think we should have our reactors sort of, um, let's have them like here. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, we'll put a fuel loader next to that. Uh, we can have our engines set up down here. There we go. Hello, Loco. Welcome aboard, my good chum. Just got back from Cairo. Feel quite good. It's always good after you get that little crickety crack. Ooh, it's a good... Them's, them's the good feels. Them is the good feels. Um, uh, let's see. What else do I want? I got an FTL drive. I want to do... And I want to use some of these compartments to do... And also, hello. Thank you for the five bomb. Um, loco. Sorry. I mean, I mean, like my brain's just doing its own little thing today. Um, so, Bellament, uh, Donovan, Bramp, and Anomaly 2012 and Infinity Fabric get themselves a cheeky little subby. Thank you, my friend. Mm. Um, also, sorry about not streaming last week. I was not feeling terribly well, I have to say. I was feeling quite poorly, um, which it, it does happen. It does happen to me sometimes. Um, so let's do a little bit of this and let's do a little bit of that. And then let's get some lipups. That's our oxygen pipes taken care of. Let's do our fuel pipes. And run that back to Mr. Reactor over here. Um, I wonder if we also have... Oh, there's a medium tank. Lovely. Uh, let's get ourselves a medium... Mm, there's a couple of medium tanks there, but we'll start with just one. Um, we'll move up from there. Uh, next, we're going to need some cablers. Uh, and I'm going to run those like so. And we'll run that back to the reactor. Uh, we're also going to run that up to the FTL drive and then into our atmosphere processing room. Uh, good. Okay, so we're all powered up. We've got all the bits that we need. Uh, the basics of a ship, so to speak. Um, atmosphere is coming up, so let's have a look at that. It is not coming up. I have loaded the oxygen. The air duct is running. We do have some uh, oxygen being loaded. Okay, but the atmosphere is not yet showing. And I'm not sure what to make of that. Unless I'm just being impatient. And it's going to... It's, it'll take a moment. Okay, so we've got low fuel. We've got low FTL charges. I think we could probably... Yeah, let's probably just um, top that up a little bit. I want to make sure that that medium tank is good to go. Now, here are some of the new things, some of the new things that we have access to. If we look in trade, um, we've got industry. Okay, good. So in industry, we've got our mining lasers as before. We've got our smelters as before. But now we have a gas collector. Um, 
can I afford to buy a bunch of this stuff now? No, I've only got $31,000 left. So we're going to have to go and do some, do some jobs before we can do things. So the gas collector, you know what? Hang on. Let's just quickly... Let's, 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 let's stream time. One. Um, let's quickly abandon this. Let's go into creative mode and let's just do the. Um, let's do the. Do, you know what? Let's get my Akira class. Um, I know I don't want to do that. Yeah, do I? No. Uh, let's go with a random chonker. All right, the carrier frigate. That's fine. Let's edit this. And we'll go into spawn. So here is the carrier frigate in its standard configuration. We've got our hyperspace sensors loaded along the center here. There's batteries, there's drone bays up front. Um, there's Gatling guns in the nose. So what we're gonna do is we're going to spawn in a couple of little things that we can play with. Um, and that is going to include See, it'd be nice if I could do this like in the game, but I can't do it in the game. But he, so now we can smell our own farts. We certainly can. Um, let's go with, okay. So first of all, does this have, yes. Okay. So air ducts, my tank, blah, 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 blah. Um, we now also have, where's the oxygen maker? I can't see it because they've actually added a, um, They've added a, um, a doobly what's it for it now, like a skin for it. Because before it was just, you know, a purple box. Now it's actually got, you know, it, it looks like something. Um, I kind of see it. I kind of see it. So I, I'm going to assume that we don't have one. Um, but so now we also got, um, let's go industry. And I want some hyperspace scoops. Right? Um, actually, I'll just edit it in. Fuck it. Um, let's go with the hyperspace scoop. So these guys, uh, they have to be on the front of the ship. Like this. And then you cable them up. And you cable them up. And then you pipe them into a tank and you collect Metreon gas. Um, and they stick out of the front of the ship like this. So there's like a, a, a it's okay, it's, I've installed it incorrectly, but that, it doesn't matter. Um, but it gathers hyperspace isotopes, which can then be turned into FTL fuel. Um, there's also a munitions factory. Um, there's also, I'm in trade, I want to be in the editor. Um, there's also, what else do we have? We've got deuterium, cool, no, that's normal. Um, what's the other new one? The other new one is called the gas collector and you just plonk these down basically anywhere. Right. And you go like this. And when we go into the edit mode, we go into the, no, when we go into the, uh, exterior mode, look at that. They're like little fans for sucking up, um, for sucking up space gas. Um, Ooh, that's one thing I was wondering. Let's try and do it with trade. Actually, no, let's just, let's just, let's just uh, dismantle, go interior, dismantle both of these. Get our little dudes to uninstall them. Now I'm curious, what happens if I try and install one um, here? Oops, I right clicked and accidentally uninstalled it. So if I install it here, What does that look like, I wonder? And don't worry about the crass humor. Like, this whole channel is about dick jokes, man. Uh, exterior. Interesting, okay. I was I was wondering what was going to happen if there was a habitation deck in the way, and it just sort of clips straight through it. I'm assuming they may change that in the future, um, but for now it looks like, yeah, it just punches straight through the habitation deck and... Um, yeah, it is the same developers. Absolutely. Um, and that's why I love it. And that's why I'm, I'm really enjoying, I'm actually very much enjoying playing this game. Um, at the moment, it's kind of simple. 
because it's only alpha two. Um, but they're adding more and more stuff all the time. Like, for example, all of this stuff that we're talking about, but also like now you can just be a boy and just fly about. Um, let's go here. Let's prepare our jump. Looks like the um, O2 has gotten up to up to power. It is a very large ship, I suppose. It does take a long time to to fill it with oxygen. Um, we are aligning very very slowly because we have no thrusters at the moment, but that's okay. That is okay. So here's what I'm thinking. With this, can we just speed this up? Thank you. Um, here's what I'm thinking with this. I feel like I feel like they've modified the way that the um, the maneuverability uh, is on this. Check out this space dock. Ain't that pretty? That's new. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do. Ooh, look, so there's the shipyard. I think that that is rad. There's a trade ship. That's actually, is that new? I don't, rem I don't recall. Um, but there's some cargo ships around. There's a carrier frigate like ours. Oh, I mean, I could have just bought that, huh? Anyway, uh, check it out. That's my ship. I built this. Um, it's a space-based driving. Yeah, basically, yeah. Um, yeah, I designed this ship. This is this is my from Star Trek Akira class cruiser where the engines are inside the pylons because when you put them inside, it actually just totally works fine, uh, which I find quite amusing. And it's worth $2.8 million. Um, and it has a fully self-sufficient uh, atmospheric system. Anyway, um, now... Here's what we're going to do. Um, first thing I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to go into editor here, and we're going to call this um, uh, Loco Cruiser. Cru 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 cruiser by... That's right. Okay, good. Um, whoops. Um, let's not draw on that. Um, we are, though. I am going to just quickly... Expand this because I know I'm going to need it. Uh, let's put in some floors there because I know I'm going to need them. And I kind of want to seal off this whole wing because this is where, and this, these two sections are where I want to do my manufacturing. But we can do that later on. Okay, um, let's confirm that. Oh, we already did. Okay, great. Let's see if these guys have anything that we want. No, we don't. Uh, because we need to make some money. So, rescue civilians from a wrecked ship. Yes. Um, a difficulty rating of one. Let's do that. Um, oh, okay. We've already accepted it, apparently. And destroy all... Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we can also do some passenger transport stuff. So, let's go ahead and do that. And let's do this one as well. And let's do this one as well. Um, because we've got plenty of cabins on this ship. Um... Okay, sorry about that. Now, um, let's go ahead and do the thing. Let's get to our sector map. We need to transport some passengers over here. Um, we could also, you know what? Uh, no, let's, we'll do the transporting of passengers first. Um, and then we'll, um, we'll go ahead and uh, do that rescue mission afterwards. Okay, cool. So, we're ready. Let's jump. Okay, let's deliver these contracts. Boom. 
Uh, we have some new ones that we could accept. And we probably should do that. But I want to go and rescue those civilians first. Um, which might be tricky, actually. In fact, it's going to be very tricky because we don't have any thrusters. And somehow I have negative $187,000. What? Ah, oh, very nice. It might be something with the patch, yes. Because I, yeah, like straight up now have negative money and I'm not quite sure exactly how I managed to do that. Uh, what about then if we do another couple of missions to try and... Wow, hang on. Negative 49,000. Right. Seems like a bug to me. This might be a problem with free roam mode, question mark. Let's see. So we've got our contracts. Um, so there's some manufacturing ones here, but we can't do those. Let's jump here first. We're just going to keep an eye on that, uh, on how much money we have here, because at the moment that is uh, not looking right. Because I left Space Dock with like 13 grand. And now I have... And then it was down to like negative 180,000. And we're not doing well on CO2 actually. That is a bit of a problem. Oh my god, I would give my eye teeth for some friggin' thrusters right now. Come on, speed it up. Low oxygen. Fantastic. Let's go. All right, contracts. So let's go ahead and deliver this one. Thank you. Get off my ship. I don't know why you're going that way instead of down through the middle there. But anyway. Uh, all right. So 18, 19. Sector map. Let's go here. So I'm still at 49, negative 49,000. I've been paid 40,000. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Get off my ship. And... We're going to have to get those off rather quickly because we desperately need to buy some oxygen and we need this money to buy that oxygen. Otherwise, we're all going to die. Um, okay, so the passengers are off. hundred and two Good. That is nice. And we should get paid again for this one. Another, I don't know, 70,000 or so. I didn't even look. 28,000. Good. We've got some cash. Let's very, very quickly. Um, let's go with some O2. Let's go with some fuel. Let's go with some water. 10 of those and some cannot afford. Oh, dear. Okay, let's just go ahead with... Yeah, which ship we gonna have to? Shit. Um, shit, shit, shit. Okay, let's just go with that. Let's also. This is actually like hard mode. <laughs> um, we need a CO two scrubber and a small tank, and that is a hard need, because if we don't have a small tank, we are sorry. If we don't have a CO two scrubber, we're gonna basically asphyxiate. Um, so let's go ahead and bring that stuff on board, please. 
Uh, and let's go with a small tank. Uh, and that can go, well, first of all, we have a CO2 scrubber here. Then we have a small tank here. Uh, we are just going to have to hold on to it for the time being. Which is fine. Um, we will be able to turn that CO2 back into oxygen at some point. I didn't put in... Oh my god, I'm such a numpty sometimes. I didn't put in the medium tank for fuel, which I'm just going to shove here. Uh, and let's pipe that in to the fuel system so we can have some more fuel stored, of which we currently have 16,000. So we are good for fuel. Uh, I can't see the rest of my resources because there's a friggin' sun in the way. Um, but that's totally fine. Uh, are there any new contracts here that we can look at? No. Um, yes. And some cargo. Okay. Um, all right. So sector map. Let's go here to drop these guys off. And then we'll have to loop back to do the delivery here. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, have we got everything loaded? Um, almost. We just need a couple more items to be supplied. I'm actually just going to do... Uh, let's do mission cargo on this side. So we can keep our mission cargo and our cargo separate. Um, just to make things a little bit neater and tidier. We will need to like re this at some point. Um, Alright, here we go. Um, stand by to jump. And boom. Damn. Two FTL charges remain. That's not great. Uh, but that's okay. Um, does anyone want anything delivered elsewhere? Let's go. Oh, we've got two here back to back. Um, this one can be delivered. Let's also think about... Wait up. I'm at negative 148,000 again. I wonder... I wonder if it's charging us for the mission cargo. That's interesting. Is that what's happening? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. This is weird. Very strange. Um... Unless it's just me being completely dumb as hell. Which is a possibility. I'm not going to lie. Strong possibility. Let's keep an eye on it. Let's... We'll debug. We'll debug and see if we can figure out what's happening here. How are we doing? That's a lot of CO2, but at least we're getting it out of the atmosphere so people won't... Uh, Start to asphyxi asphyxiate like on Apollo 13. Um, asphyxiate? Carbon monoxide. Sorry, carbon dioxide poisoning is more like it. Right. So the alignment takes a goddamn age because of the fact that we have no thrusters at the moment. And I would have bought some just now. If we had money. Let's see. Uh, we're going to deliver these two. So we're going to supply these items. And we're going to deliver these items. These are in different systems to where we're going. But I may as well pick them up. And when we pick them up, we'll see. So let's just go all the way up to five speed. We'll get these guys off the ship and get paid. And then we'll accept one of these contracts. And we'll see what happens to our money. Because it's either a contract issue... Or it's something that's happening when we jump. Nothing in the same forums. Yeah, see, I, I, I don't know what's going on here. But let's see. Boom. 
So it's wrapped around and we're back up to 62,500. Let's take this one. Urgent passenger request. Yeah, cool. No, no. We're, right, we're just going to get paid. Okay. So we're at 62. We accept. We're fine. We accept this one. Nothing happened. This one, deliver cargo. Yeah, we're at 62,500. Everyone's all aboard. Okay, great. I can't buy any FTL fuel, so this might be the last jump, but anyway. Um, let's go to this colony right here. Um, so we're at 62,500. We're going to align. We're going to jump. I just lost $200,000 in the jump. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's start again. Uh, and we'll start with the Praxis. Was it just that one? Let's find out. What are you recommending? The fuel loader goes there. The uh, reactor it's going to go there. That's fine. Uh, I also want a medium tank connected to that. Thank you very much. I want my engines. There. And there. We need an O2 loader. Let's do that up here. Connected to a small tank. Connected to an air duct. We want our FTL drive. Front and center, please. Front and center. Cables. Boom. Uh, let's do some piping. No, that's disappointing that the reactor's on the wrong side, but that's okay. And then our oxygen can get connected up like this. Great. Uh, we already have our contracts. That's fine. I have $50,000 in the bank. O2's getting set up. Okay, we're good to go on O2. Uh, we need... Cables. So we can power this puppy up. We've got a medium tank that is not yet being loaded. Aha! Just goes to show how quick it is to get set up in this game. Right. So, we're good to go. O2 is being prepared. FTL drivers online. And we have our starting contracts. We're going to set up our sector map. And we're going to go here. And prepare a jump. Hit it. We're good. Okay. Now. So that didn't happen. Let's try with passengers on board. No loss of cash there. Okay, we're good. And 
I really want... is to nail this down and understand where this bug is coming in. Oh, passengers are aboard. Great. Now we go here. Okay. Let's try delivering some cargo. Actually, I'm going to take these passengers as well. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, okay, we don't have enough cabins to be able to do that, but that's okay. So. It's not transporting... Wait. Yeah, no, okay. It's not transporting passengers that seems to be the problem. So let's see if it's cargo. Oh shit, we need some storage zones. Mission cargo goes here. Um, spacesuits, please leave your spacesuits like in an orderly pile uh, next to the air dock. Seems like a good thing. Airlock. Um, I also want my sewage food water. Water can go like there. O2. O2 can go next to it. Fuel can go down here next to the fuel loader, which is a logical space for it to be. And that's probably all we need to really give a shite about at the moment. Uh, standby to jump. We got $118,000. Maybe it happens when you take detours. Maybe? But I don't think so. It's never been that way before. It's not cargo. Let's just accept all of these. Speed up the unloading here. The loading and unloading. And create some more storage space for our stuff. Something about old saves? No, that was a brand new game. That's alright, I appreciate the ideas. Not cheating on them. Uh, here we go. Let's do some deliveries. Delightful deliveries. We're going to do a little loop-de-loop. So, so far we've proven that it's not... It's not cargo, it's not passengers. And it doesn't seem to be related to... Um, oh, you know what it might be. No, we're okay. Cool. We might come back to that one. Now, new game. So, here's what I'm thinking. In free roam, the way that 
they've changed it up is that like you can get two million dollars and make a shipyard here or in, in either game mode uh you can just make a ship of your own design there's the praxis one which is you get 50 grand but then they changed up these ones so that like and and like anything so if i like choose um like fuel barge let's go with i don't know inverse mark one so do 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 install reactor fuel loader engine engine FTL drive uh, I also want habitation small tank oxygen loader air duct how much cash do we have not enough um, and then we want some fuel oxygen FTL charges and water and food 10 food confirm thank you editor no construction uh, let's also go ahead and pipe up our engine stuff, um, like this, and we'll connect that, and then we'll connect some cables up, so we can go like this, and that, um, I also want... A huge tank? Why not? Live a little. Spoil yourself. Uh, let's have a huge tank for our fuel storage. And that can go there. And then let's do our atmospheric processing down here. Because why the heck not? So we need to load our oxygen into a tank and then spunk it out of that guy. These guys also need to be all connected with some pipes and then we're going to use a cable to come out like this and then out like this and then connect up to there. And boom goes the dynamite. Uh, we're also going to have a little bit of the old O2 storage and that can be right here so we can shove it straight into the thingily ding. And let's go ahead and select sector map and we need to go here and beep and prepare jump. We've got $54,200 dollar dues. Okay, we're good to go. Next, we're going to accept some contracts. Uh, so I want to deliver some cargo. I need a mission cargo storage zone. Let's have that stored up here, shall we? The engines aren't symmetrical. Oh, they aren't. Bugger. I hate when I do that. Hang on. All right. Boom. I had to fix it. All right, let's go up to five. Let's go up to 10 speed. Engine's installed. We're good to go. We actually need to select a destination. All right, we're doing a delivery. So. A delivery with cargo on board. Boom, there it is. Okay. So I don't know whether it's cargo or I don't know what type of mission it is yet, but we can see that when it's one of these ships, so by these ships, I mean, um, what the fuck am I doing? I mean, community based ships, uh, like anything that's got this 150 K, 
Um, let's just double check and see if it also happens in survival mode. So this is Inverse Mark 1 by Ed the Loon with 150 grand in goodies. Oops. Doesn't matter. We don't need this to be pretty. We just need this to be functional. Fuel, fuel, fuel. And it's go, go, go. Can he build the ship faster than anyone else? Looks like it. Uh, oxygen loader air ducts. Uh, I want some fuel. No, we've got enough fuel, I believe. Yeah, we've got enough fuel. That'll do us. Water, food. Confirm. Uh, cables. Good to go. Editor. We need to install those new things as soon as they arrive. We're going to need a small tank here. We're going to need a medium tank uh, that can be there. We need an oxygen loader there. We need an air duct uh, right about there. We need some pipes to connect our oxygen systems together. And we need to cable them into the grid. Bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Uh, right. Uh, FTL. We need to set our destination to destination. FTL, prepare jump. Jump. Good to go. Great. All right, let's next. Um, I'm not going to bother with those ones, but I am going to take uh, a passenger transport request and a courier mission and a passenger transport. And we're going to load those onto the ship as quickly as we possibly can. We're also going to buy a couple of FTL charges and some fuel because we're running low on those. So let's get those aboard, please. At any time you would like. I uh, would also like some mission cargo space, please. Boop. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, all right. Sector map. Transport passengers. And then a delivery and more shit. They're all over the place. All right, here we go. Jump. Okay. So... Here's what I am. Here's what I'm finding. There is not a problem with delivering stuff in the regular game, and by regular game, I mean the game where there's the anomaly. Um, right. So, it appears to me that the problem is when you select something other than Praxis, like any of these 150k ones on free roam, you lose 200k per jump. Jump. Let's try it with the shipyard option as well. Um, what do we got? What do we got here? So let's just... Let's just do, let's make this a very fugly little ship um, that can look like that. I want a bit more habitation, if you please, because 11 cabins ain't going to allow us to do many missions. Um, good. Okay, great. Uh, what do we start with? Two engines. I don't know if two engines are gonna is actually gonna fit in this sucker, I have to say. Wow, you can really place them all the way back, can't you? But I want to free up as much floor space as possible. So let's get one there and Hey, I can have two engines. Rad. 
Uh, okay, uh, let's have a reactor. Let's have a fuel loader there. Uh, I also want to get a medium tank. I want um, a little bit of fuel. A small tank, an air duct, an oxygen loader. Let's go with some that and that and that. Yes? Yes. Confirm. Cables. I hope you guys aren't going to get bored of me just doing the same friggin' thing over and over and over again, but, you know. This is... Oh, I, I, oh that's irritating. Alright, that's fine. Uh, it's R to rotate. And a small tank, and an oxygen loader, and an air duct. And some pipes. Alright. Our ship is a ship. It ain't much, but it's uh, functional. Hello, Dark Harlock. Welcome aboard, my good friend. I hope you are well. We are debugging. We've, I think I've found something um, in this lovely, lovely game. I'll need more FTL charges than that. Uh, trade incoming. Hang on. Let's get that first. Great. And we need to jump to here. Prepare. Okay, so we're going to take a cargo mission, or three. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. All right. So, free run, but instead of... The base ship Praxis, or a 150k, we're now in the 2 million plus build your own ship. Which doesn't seem to have the problem. Um, let's try with a passenger mission. And we'll unload some of this cargo, we'll get some dudes. Okay, no problems here. Okay. Um, what about if we go here? 1.93 million. Aha! I lost. I was very quick. It was very quick because I didn't go into slow mode. But I just lost money there. Let's see if we can carry this on. Uh, delivery. So we're going to slow mode. Let's jump. Oh, feck. I'm out of FTL fuel. No drop in funds. This is not only inconvenient, it's also puzzling. Because I've just done a mission. I was expecting to have the bug. But the bug did not occur. And now I'm confused. So 
So, passengers, cargo. Okay. So here's where we currently are. I've completed a contract and picked up two more. I'm going here. Stand by. Yeah, let's just let's keep going. I would like to get that uh, the the CO2 out of the air, but we're okay for now. Did not lose money. Okay, this time, I'm actually going to read. Right. Okay. So, last time I did it, did I get one of these? Alright, we're going to read the... We're going to read the friggin' missions this time. Okay, this time... This one is just a straight passenger transport. I'm going to ignore that one for now. We're just going to do one at a time and see if there's a particular mission type that is causing us grief. So, two contracts completed. Made some money, 1.81 million. Lovely. We need to take these passengers here. Stand by to jump. It is a very inconvenient bug, if it is. Okay. That's not the case. No problems there. Let's deliver that. Let's... Now, I don't recall seeing a timer warning the last time I did a cargo mission. Let's try one of these. I don't recall, like, I, I don't, I wasn't even looking at it, honestly, but let's see. Where does this need to be? It needs to be here. We're okay. 1.85 million. Pretty sure the previous ones weren't timed missions. Oh, okay, that's just for that previous one. Lovely. All right. We deliver. And let's accept... Let's accept a passenger and cargo at the same time. Maybe this is, maybe this is what's happening. All right, so they're all over the shop. Let's go here first. Should probably put in my CO2 system in a moment, but anyway. Um, okay, here we go. So we've got passengers and then two cargo on board. No problem there. It happened once. What about if we do a whole bunch of dumb shit? Put 
we have multiple contracts. So for the 150k ships, I was able to replicate this quite comfortably. Like every time. Actually, one thing we didn't try, buy more FTL charges. Thank you. Uh, well, I would have figured that out pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, let's actually go ahead and put our CO2 system in, huh? Um, so let's, oops, CO2 scrubber goes there and the small tank can go there and then let's pipe them together and let's cable them up like that. Beautiful. Right, CO2 is dropping and is no longer 10% lethal. That is nice. FGL charges are coming aboard and hopefully someone will put it into the thing they do in a moment so that we can actually jump. Because unless someone puts an FTL drive in and it charges up, we ain't going nowhere. Ooh. We're also running low on power, which is not great. Okay. So, where are we? We have uh, one cargo and one um, uh, cargo, sorry, one cargo and one passenger delivery heading into this sector. Let's jump. No problems. Right, what about this one? Uh, so this one's shipyard. Gordon Bennett. Ard. Boom. This one. So this is the first one that we had the problem with, yes? No. This is one that we didn't even jump. We didn't even, like we've only just started the ship up. Oh, oh really? Mm. All right, let's see what this one be. So we're going to do our first jump. So again, this is in free roam. Great. So we've now completed the make your ship ready for flight. Now what I did last time was I immediately accepted cargo and then jumped on. This time, I'm just going to jump. I'm just going to jump to a random location. Let's go to this colony, for example. Survey says, no loss of funds. Let's take a contract. Just cargo. Great. Single delivery. Ready? No problem. Deliver. Cargo plus passenger. No problem. What? What is happening? Last time it was immediate. I... Mm. Paracetamol. Be careful with that, though. You can overdo it with paracetamol if you're not careful. What's this? 
Need a logistics rating of one. Okay. Um, I have seen someone ODing. Oh, it, actually, I think it did happen that time. And I wasn't paying close enough attention. Or did it? Oh, now I'm... Am I imagining shit? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Good. So, three contracts on board. I need to create storage zones. You know what? Store me some oxygen up here. Good. CO2 is climbing. It doesn't matter. And we've got our delivery that needs to go here first. 99,200 bucks. Oh dear. Ah, I know why. Because... Oh, did I already have one? Great. I just bought another medium tank for no reason. Oh well. <clears throat> we'll just shove that in there. It doesn't need, doesn't need to be in a particular spot. Let's get ready to jump. And... Back to normal speed. So, multiple cargo and whatnots on board. Multiple missions. 97,200. We're okay. No problems there. Hundred and twenty two grand. Well, now I don't know what's going on. I was able to get this to happen perfectly, but then I... So this game, I saved and then reloaded, right? So let's resave this. Stream time one. And let's abandon. New game. Uh, sleek. Free roam. Begin. Uh, FTL drive can go... Uh, I don't know, fucking there. Who cares? Uh, we need some engines, so let's put them as far out as they will go and as far out as they will go. Right on the tippy tips of the ships. Um, let's go with a small tank, an oxygen loader, an air duct. Uh, there's only one small tank available. That's totally fine. Let's go with some resources. So fuel, oxygen. We want some FTL charges. We want some water. We want some food. Confirm. Please bring that aboard. Let's go ahead and set up our cables. Zip. Zap. As doop. A zippity doo -da. Let's just run that straight up the high little. Uh, we're also going to have some pipes, uh, because you need those. Uh, so we'll just do that like this, and we'll just do that like... Oops, shit. Uh, we'll just do that like this, and then like that, and get rid of that little tiny bit there. Uh, can I also have a large tank? No, I can't. That's a bit of a shame. And there's only one... That's interesting. I bought a small tank because there was only one. I didn't uh, buy two. Anyway, uh, let's do O2 processing in... Yeah, this is fine. 
oxygen loader goes there, air duct goes there, cables can run right down the middle of the ship. Ooh, we'll line that up nicely, good. And we can have some pipes that can go like this. Great, okay. So, here we are again, another brand new, just created ship. Let's get ready to go and do our testing. So brand new, not no save game yet. Great. Random jump. Random jump, jump, no contract. Ooh. It has turned into QA testing, I know. <laughs> Is that fun? Are you guys enjoying this? Let me know if it's boring and we can just like play the game. But if it if it's broken at the moment, then, you know, we kind of owe it to, the, you know, we owe it to introversion to try and figure out how deep this goes. Okay, so jumping empty, no problem. Take a contract. No problems. Cargo. No problems. Multiple cargo. Multiple passenger. Why not? Everyone all aboard. Oh, I could have had that one. Whoopsie doodle. Um. Let's have mission cargo like um, this, please. And like um, that. Great. Uh, I guess, uh, oh yeah, no, we can't do that, eh? There's a fucking plant in the way. Stand by to jump. $108,000 in the bank. Weird. No problem. What about if we go here? No problem. Anyone going where we're going? No problem. Ready? Ready? Let's see. New game. Sleek. Well, I haven't been able to replicate it on Sleek, have I? The master of being able to throw ships together real quickly. Here we go. All right, that's done. Is that asymmetrical? It is not. Don't worry. I know what you need. Medium tank. Okay. Uh, I also want a small tank oxygen loader. Uh, I want to do 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 Mission cargo goes here and here. And I want a small tank here. I want a medium tank there. I want an oxygen loader here. I want an air duct here. We want pipes of this variety here. Then cables that come out like this. 
I'm gonna run them straight. I shouldn't have done it like this. Down like that, and then connect the FTL drive like that. We're gonna bring this down to this engine and up to this engine. We want some pipes to connect up with fuel that can go like this and this and that. Let's get some fuel in here and like that. And there is a medium tank right there. That's totally fine. I don't like running the cables and the pipes right next to each other, but in this case, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, did I need anything else installed? No, that's the last piece of the puzzle. The ship is powering up. Uh, O2 will shortly do what it needs to do. I now need to test the one difference between this and the last test. So the last test, the first jump that we did, I immediately picked up a contract. Ready? Yump. No problem so far. We're doing well. Let's go ahead and accept. Um, oh, piss. I did a regular... Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. New game. Free roam. Sleek. Begin. Here we... <laughs> this is Sisyphusian. Uh, okay. Over all aboard. Thank you. Reactor. Fuel loader. FTL drive. Engine. Engine. Good stuff. Energy. No medium tank this time. Uh, no, I want this, this, and this. I want this, this, this. Some of that, some of that. Thank you kindly. Why am I even bothering to put it all the way up here? That's what I want to know. Uh, okay. Small tank goes there. Oxygen loader goes there. Air duct goes there. Cables go like that. Pipes go like that. We also need some pipes here. And sadly, this time there is not a medium tank. There is another one of those, though. Let's get that. At least we'll have a small tank for fuel. We can reuse that later on once we find a medium tank so that we can use that uh, for, like, CO... Oh, shit. CO2. Um... God damn it. There we go. I was trying to rotate it, but you know what? Let's just shove it in and we'll be done. Right. Destination. FTL. Stand by to charge. So, what we're testing here is we're going to use a 150k ship, but we are going to pick up contracts in the first, um, the first doobly doo. Uh, we can look at that soon. Cool. Stand by to transport passengers. Prepare to jump. Why are the crew suffocating? Why? Why? Have we loaded this? We have loaded this. Oh, piss. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Well, that's unfortunate. That's all. Oh. Quick, hang on. Wait. <laughs> Let's see if we can jump jump to a new system while these guys are just unable to breathe and then we'll just kick him out at the other end. <laughs> Astro's transport service. Hold your breath. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, they're suffocating. Uh, they're all going upstairs, though. That's nice. Um, but you can see we're only at like 50%... Um, 50% atmosphere at the moment. <laughs> Uh, okay, the bug did not exist that time. Let's get these guys off of our ship. Quick. Quickly. Quickly. Quickly now. Okay, the ship is the, the ship is now good for flight, so they're no longer suffocating. Uh, off you pop. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I snorted. Oh, fuck. All right. So we didn't have the bug that time. Uh, transport passengers. Prepare jump. 
We turn off the atmosphere overlay. We jump. No problem. Contracts. Whoops. First of all, deliver. Uh, we will also do a cargo mission or two. Should we do two? Let's let's do let's do one. I mean, it could, it might be that there was a weird bug and it just didn't. Like it's decided to fix itself? Question mark. Maybe it's the carrier frigate. Okay, delivered one contract. We're okay. Damn it! This is going to be a two-step jump. I don't really want to go to that distress call because it's basically going to be very difficult with this ship. Um, and the reason I say that is because a distress call, you actually have to dock with another ship to rescue the people. In-flight air costs fifty nine ninety nine dollars per breath. Yeah, this is Elon Musk's starship. Um, and then we're going to go there. We're on cooldown. Two charges left. We've been here before. Um, yump. No problems. Wait. Just in case. Yeah, let, we're going to wait for that trade. No worries. Bye-bye. I'm just going to accept all the contracts. Where are we? Oh, we're here. We are delivering. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, blah, 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 blah. This is like Blitz Chess, but last starship. No problem. Mmm. Mmm. More cargo. Deliver cargo. Can we do a passenger quest? Did we... No, they were both cargoes. Okay. Have they updated the music as well? I think they have. I mean, I know that like some of the um, areas have been updated, so it's like a bit more to see. But I'm pretty sure they've got some new music and it sounds good. All right. What about this one? Nicht problem. I don't know what the word for problem is in German. Uh, but there is no problem with this jump. So, I don't know now. I thought I had it nailed down. Although, with the second, uh, with the, the shipyard ship, it did start happening after a while. So, I'm not sure. Right, we've got $420,000, nice. Uh, there's no contracts that we can accept here because it's all mining. Uh, so I guess, like, 
maybe we just fly somewhere and see what happened. Um, maybe we fly. May maybe fly. Maybe fly here. No problem. All right. Well, maybe it isn't present on this preset. Maybe. Maybe. Um, no probs. New game. Free roam. So, we didn't have it on Praxis. We didn't have it on Sleek. We did have it on Carrier Frigate and we did have it on Shipyard. So, let's go back to Carrier Frigate. And we definitely did have it on Community Ships, right? Or am I imagining? Here we go. Ready? Speed build. Thank you. Reactor. Um, let's... Uh, yeah, this can be the reactor hall this time. That'll be fine. Oh, yeah. While you're there, go ahead and give me a medium tank. Let me have one, two, three of those. And that'll... I didn't press the go button on that. Confirm. There we go. Uh, let's also go ahead and have ourselves an FT FTL drive that can be right in the middle of the ship, as I like to to do we're going to have this engine as far that way as it'll go we're going to have this engine um as far this way as it'll go so that they're central and that's all lovely um life support can be in here uh fuel storage can be here oxygen loader goes there air duct goes there we're going to need some pipes to connect like this and this it's just the same thing over and over and over and over and over again with me isn't it it's, you know, but it's why you guys come to this channel for the scintillating, repetitive content and or troubleshooting and or discovering, well, the fun, <laughs> you know, the shittiest part about this, I'm just, I've just sort of had this little moment of where I'm like, oh, you know, well, we're doing some interesting stuff. We're playing the new version of the game. And then I realized we actually haven't even played with any of the new bits and bobs that are a part of this game. I'm too busy farting about with this bug and trying to figure out what the flap is going on. How are we doing? Can we get some O2 loaded? No, because we need to buy some O2. Here we go. Fuel, oxygen, FTL charges. I'm just going to buy. I'm just going to buy all of the things. Uh, no, maybe not all of that. Uh, and that'll do us for now. Um, and let's go ahead and... Because I don't want to have a repeat of what whoops, what I did last time, I'm just going to wait for the uh, uh, life support to come online. Uh, so we're at 62% of habitable. And boom, we're done. Okay, so sector map, go to our destination, select that. Um, we've got 51 grand of trade incoming, which, hang on. Speed run. It's a speed run. Uh, any cargo can go here, mission cargo goes here, fuel, 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 fuel goes here, and oxygen, oxygen, right, ready, no problems. We currently have $1,200. So, uh, we're done. Ship is ready for flight. Completed. Let's also do this and this as they're going to the same sector. This is exactly the way that I did it when I replicated it the very first time. There's our cargo, which our crew will very kindly put into the mission cargo storage zone. We're going to select our destination. No, that's a distress call. We don't want to go there. And we're going to go FTL prepare. Stand by to jump. And... Well, now I have no idea what's going on. Although, was it on the first jump that we had the problem or was it on subsequent jumps? I think it was subsequent. Uh, now we're going to take a passenger transport requests, I guess, a couple of those. Sweet. No worries.
All aboard. Okay. Jump two. After completing a delivery on jump one and taking on passengers on jump two. Well, <laughs> now I don't know. Oh, I can't do that one yet. Okay, fine. No problem there. Uh, anyone going where we're going? No. All right. See if we have the jump the the bug this time. How do I replicate this? Because last time I did it on the carrier frigate, it absolutely did the thing. What about? Is it a from launch? Like from when you start the game, then the bug appears? So this is exactly what I did to replicate it the first time. Free roam carrier frigate begin game. Trade, boom, and habitation. One of them, one of them, and an oxygen loader. I would also like that, 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 and that. A little bit more oxygen, a little bit more fuel, and definitely more of those. Thank you very much. Let's uh, go ahead with a storage zone first so that we can unload the rest of this stuff. I think I should make this the last time that I subject you guys to watching me start a uh, start a game and not bloody go past the first um, the first sector. Um, oxygen loader. I want an air duct. Oh, that is an air duct. I want a small tank. Um, a high dark harlog. Thank you for the resub, my friend. Welcome to another month. Another month of hell. Oh, 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 oh. Also, I'm thinking... If I went back to YouTube, would you guys follow me there? Or do you only um, want to see stuff on... Um, on Twitch? Because I kind of... I've been thinking about this on and off. Like, every time I stream, basically, I'm like... Mm, should I be streaming on Twitch or should I go back to YouTube? And I honestly, I, I don't know guys. I don't know. To know which one's best. All right, let's get this sucker built and up and running. I don't need to watch that. It tells me here. Uh, sector, destination, FTL, prepare. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So we're... Oh my God. All right. Passengers. Passengers. Trying to replicate this book. Yump. Bug not replicated. It did take a couple of... Um, it did Take a couple of jumps before it happened last time, didn't it? Pretty sure it did. Womp womp. I 
And I know that was the case because we were running low. Um, whoops. Um, we were running low on FTL. And I was like, oh, we need, just need to make some money and then we'll do the thing. Um, okay, so we're going to go there next. Making some money. Getting some contracts. Everything's nice. Here we go. And that's not going to the same place, is it? Let's take it. Let's see if that's going to give us some funny things. Um, can't make it there, so let's jump there. Whoops. 65 grand. 161 grand. Jumping there. Yump. No problem. Ooh, some passengers going our way. Let's take that one. No problem. Oh, why couldn't those passages be going to the same place? That's a shame. Um, thank you for the resub, Loco. And the five bomb, of course. Well, now I don't know. Now I don't know what's causing this. I was sure I knew before. Um, maybe it was just a transient bug. So here's what we're going to do. Let's carry on with this game. Because this game, we're doing well. We're making some bucks. Um, we can do some cargo, which is actually really shit because it's only a tiny little one. Um, and that makes me sad. Um, but you know, you do what you do. Um, let's also go ahead and do the next bits and bobs that we need. So we need to scrub some CO2 out of the air. Let's go ahead and do that. And should we go straight to... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, there there is a reason why it does that. Um, and that's because it wants you to be able to tell other peeps... Um, like, hang on, my brain's not working. Um, it, it, the notification and you posting about it helps to make other people go, well, maybe I'll subscribe. Um, which, yeah, that's, that's, that's Amazon's business model right there. Um, try and get other people to do it by, no, I uh, right. Boom and boom. Okay. We're scrubbing CO2. We're doing cargo. We're doing well in this big bad boy. Whoops. Uh, righty dokey. So let's carry on. And what we're going to try and push towards is I'm going to edit out the nose of this and we're going to do mining and refining. That's what we want to do. Um, we're only, you know, it's only taken me two hours to get to the point where I'm, you know, beginning to do what I said that I was going to do at the very beginning, but hey, it's an Astro stream. Um, these things do happen. Stand by to jump. All right. Yeah, well, whatever that bug was, it seems to have gone now. So let's not worry too much about it. Let's just, we're going to groove around and do a couple of missions. And then we might move on to the next sector. Um, where we can start to see if we can do some mining and mining and crafting. Nah, don't worry about it, Terp. I mean, I, I don't, I don't rely on this for income. 
I, I can't I can't rely on YouTube or Twitch for income. I mean, for a time there, at my zenith, I did make a reasonable amount of money from, like, it was a nice little bit of extra pocket money, you know, uh, from YouTube. Um, but I have never um, been able to comfortably rely, like, Twitch pays me fuck all. Um, but that's also because I'm on Twitch. Very, very small. I'm a very, very small streamer. But that's okay. You know? I was a little bigger once upon a time. Oh, Dark Harlock. There you go. Nicely done. There you go, Jeff Nebula. Welcome to the sub club. You can get into the special channel in the Discord now. Not that we really... I mean, that's the other thing. I'm, I'm not good at maintaining my, um, my community, I have to say. I, I did get a little bit big here on Twitch for a while there. I was peeking out at like 30 or 40 concurrent viewers. But the fact that I'm straight up very unreliable, I'll admit that. Um, and the fact that I play games that are probably most people... Ah, uh, why did I lose money? I just lost... Oh, because I bought some FTL. Um, so I'm very unreliable. I play games that no one really seems to know or care about. And so it's only like you guys that are diehards. Diehard buds. Did I not select to... Oh, okay, they're doing it. Uh, oh, let's go here. Just gather up a bit of initial cash. See, normally... And this is an interesting sort of separation. In the base normal game... That is true. Do you know what? Twitch does pay me to buy a coffee once a month, once a week. <laughs> and to be fair, I am like, I do still get a little bit of money from YouTube. I still get views. Just nowhere near as many as I did when the, once the algorithm decided it was done with me. And it was like, nah, this guy's boring. No one plays Prison Architect anymore. Anyway. Um, now, where are we? Let's deliver this. Um, anyway, yes, that's what I was saying. Um, in the base game, I would already be... And it'd be interesting to see if they've balanced it. But, like, with the anomaly, I can turn from like 300 grand to multi-millions in a couple of sectors. Like by the time I'm done with the Tidlitz quest, I am rolling in cash and starting to buy new ships and doing whatever I want. But with free roam, you can't do that. So one wonders if it's going to be possible to hack the Gibson as it were in free roam or if it's just going to be like a much more like chill balanced kind of thing one other thing I wonder ooh let's do a timed mission uh, once we've unloaded uh, also we need some food oh Good. Where are we going? Do I not have any? Oh, because I didn't pick it up yet. Uh, okie dokie. So we're going to go there. Let's align. Whilst they... Oh, and I haven't created a mission cargo storage zone. That's what happens when you... um When you play the same start of the game ten times, you start to get confused about where you are. Uh, which is where I currently am. Okay, here we go. Good. Deliver. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take those. Um. I'm gonna take the, the those passengers on board, but I do want to go back. Let's go here, and then I'd like to go back to NC three. 
Wait, unless this one, no. Okay, I do want to go back to NC3 and we'll do some uh, some editing of the ship uh, because I want to start mining and crafting. Uh, let's stand by to jump. And I want some... Okay. I want some stuff. Let's start decking this sucker out. Uh, let's get ourselves... So, we've got CO2 being taken care of. Let's go ahead and get rid of our CO2. Or more accurately, we're going we're gonna to do some sewage. We're going to do some water purification. We're going to do some oxygen. I want an air reprocessor. Um, that's 117 grand. I want a couple of small tanks to work with there as well. Uh, what else do we need to ponder here? We're doing okay for food. We're doing okay for fuel, I think. Uh, I want a couple of mining lasers. I want a couple of smelters. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I want a gas collector. I want a refinery and, or two and some chemical labs and one hyperspace scoop. That'll do us for now. In fact, that's pretty much all we can afford for now. I am also going to need some logistics drones. Uh, so let's get that shite aboard. And we can jump back to the shipyard. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited, friends. I'm going to enjoy the shit out of playing with these new things. Oh, shit, we're out of... Oh no, it's okay. I've still got a hundred grand. I've still got a hundred grand up my sleeve. Um, let's take on some cargo. But before we do do that, uh, let's go ahead and I want my hull to be expanded like this. I want the floor to be expanded like this and that. Not very pretty. Not very pretty. But that's okay. Um, I do need a drone bay, but I now can't afford it because it's a hundred thousand uh, dollars. But we can go ahead and install all the other new crap that we just bought. So, I in our this area, I'm going to put in a sewerage pipe. Uh, I can be there. That is going to fill this little tank here with sewerage, and then I'm going to use a. Did I not get a... I did not. Waste treatment machine. 43 grand. Do, 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 do. Uh, so, a waste treatment machine goes... There. That is then going to send to... Uh, this small tank, waste water, which we're then going, going to send into our waste water treatment machines, which we then don't have another small tank for, but that's okay. We can figure it out later on. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, so I'm going to just leave a little gap there for where that small tank is going to go, and we can plug that in later. Uh, next, I want some mining lasers that I'm going to put Whoops. On the front of my ship. Oh, wow. I can really hang them out there, huh? Sure. Why not? We'll just bung them on. Uh, on this side of the ship, I'm going to have a... Uh, hello? Oh, that's a gas collector. I want a hyperspace scoop, uh, which I will just place there. My Buzard Ram scoop. Um, again, not going to have anything to store that in because there's, unless you've got some medium tanks for me, there is one medium tank. That's fine. I'll take it. Um, I also want, uh, I want to do the gas collector thing as well. And I want to do the gas collecting in these little bays. I want, uh, then to have my chemical labs set up here. So that can be like one there and one there. I'm going to need 
Um, oh no, the refinery has to be here. Um, just we're just slapping shit in, right? Smelters can go up here because that's where I'm going to put um or yeah no no the smelters can go in here. We'll just bung them in. This ain't gonna be pretty this year, but it'll be fine. Um so air reprocessor we also need. Uh we also need that. That needs to be there. Okay, so this gas doobly do ain't gonna do nothing yet because oh no, there might be some gas up here that we can go and find. Um, but for now, the primary thing I want is my uh, see my my friggin' hyperspace scoop uh, connected and start tanking off uh, some hyperspace isotopes, which we can do stuff with later on. We can't do anything with it now, but that's totally fine. Uh, Carblays, uh, we need a cable that comes down like this, and we we'll go through these guys. Uh, you know what? We'll just um, zoom out here a little bit, make this happen a little bit quicker. Just a little bit quicker. Uh, and then we can go like that and we'll run it on the ends. Oh, I made that. That was a... No, that was not a good idea. Uh, we'll hook up the mining lasers even though they aren't going to do anything. Oh, yes. Interesting. Interesting. So I can actually install this thing all the way the hell out here. But because I can't get power out to it, it is not functional. It will not function. I refuse to function, it says. You may go and fuck yourself. Mm. Um, can my crew even get to that to, like, uninstall it? I guess we'll find out. Okay, so bits and bobs are going in over there. I'm not going to fuss too much about connecting everything just yet because, well... I don't think we've actually going to have quite enough power to do all of the things that we want to do, but that's okay. So, sewage goes here. Sewage goes into the waste treatment machine. Waste water comes out of the waste treatment machine and into the small tank and then across the hall to the water purifier. The water purifier then sends regular water into the oxygen maker. Good which is then able to send oxygen and I'll just send it straight yeah like that now is this an optimum layout it is not um oh and the co2 uh so co2 tank goes into the co2 reprocessor which can then send its oxygen out and back into the oxygen system um now the other thing that I'm going to need to worry about is uh, further storage. Uh, oh, look. No, no, no. We're okay. We're at 77% we're at storage here. 35% um, CO2. That's okay. So this one, this is the other new, uh, the other new thing that was added, this little diagram. So you can like see the buffer coming up and then you watch the buffer draining as it sends its oxygen back into this. Um, and then you've got the waste treatment machine here where you can see it's outputting compost, um, which there's not a, a use for at the moment, but I assume that compost is eventually going to be used as, well, you combine compost and something to make plants to eat. Um, rice. So now that this is actually functioning correctly, um, and we don't have that weird bug anymore, let's start to care about how this ship looks. So we'll have our FTL charges there. We may as well bring our oxygen in over here, because why not? Um, we just quickly pick up some FTL charges. Lovely jubbling. And 40 grand. Thrusters can come later. Um, should we hook these up? We probably should. Just just for just for cleanliness, you know? Just for cleanliness. And let's hope and pray that we don't suddenly run out of oops, turn off schematic view. 
Hope and pray that we don't run out of power because that would be bad. We're currently sitting at 29 megawatts uh, on reactor one. Um, I dare not take her into battle or mining just yet because the power draw would uh, almost certain... Oh, looky. They've uninstalled that, but they can't get to it. And it's now... So a hyperspace scoop, um, or as it's known in... Did I hook that up wrong? Oh, I did. I missed. Uh, or as it's known in the Star Trek universe, is a Bussard ram scoop. Um, is a magnetic device, like it creates a magnetic field that channels interstellar gas into a collector. Um, in Star Trek, it's used to harvest um, hydrogen, interstellar hydrogen, or hydrogen isotopes. I mean, essentially, it's just individual it's like it's ionized but like protons and shit i don't i'd fucking know um i'm not much of a expert on interstellar gas um but it is a thing that is you know you guys aren't getting much game audio huh hmm. um it, it's a thing um and so this does the same so it when we jump it's gonna gather hyperspace isotopes um, by channeling them in and storing them in this medium tank, which we can then use to do shit later on. Um, let's get some cargo. And we may as well grab this one as well. And are there any more going where we're going? No. Because we're going to start gathering ourselves up some yums. And then next sector, uh, we will go ahead and... Um, use them for nefarious purposes. Um, so, let's prepare our jump. Probably should have done that earlier considering the time is ticking on this mission. And there goes that mining laser. That's lost into space now, which is a bit of a shame, but that's okay. We can mine perfectly well with just one. Uh, stand by to jump. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump and immediately slow it down. And we can zoom in and we can watch this. It's gathering 28, 29 hyperspace isotopes per second and storing it in this here tank. Um, how are we doing for power during this jump? Not great. Very not great. Because this sucker draws quite a bit of power. And if we look at our power grid here... No, it's, it's the ram scoop. Um... It is the ram scoop. That's a concern there, boys and girls. It's a bit of a concern. Might have to... Might have to have a little wonder about that one. Maybe we need another reactor and a whole shit ton of batteries. And by maybe, I mean... Yes, we do. Um, Alright, we don't need to be going slow anymore. Pshh. All right, let's deliver this one first because that's the uh, speedy McNeedy one. And once that's getting close, we can queue the next one up. Bonk. All right. Now. Drone bay. That's cool. We can get that. We can get ourselves a drone bay. It's a few short missions away. Um... But I am now concerned about our power situation. Do you have a reactor to trade, Mr. Mr. Place? Uh, yes, but we cannot afford it. I suppose I could do the short step of popping in a battery. I mean, I can hear things going pear-shaped at the moment because of the fact that, like, you can hear it, like, spinning up and down. As it's trying to turn everything on, it's struggling and failing. So what we might do is let's just go ahead and oops, so disconnect a couple of these systems that aren't really required. Um, like we don't need these smelters to be online. The mining lasers don't need to be online. We need core equipment only. Now, I know that these things, I mean, they don't draw a huge amount. 
the chemical labs are still online. I don't know exactly how much these um, these draw, but yeah, we're going to be able to make fuel and explosives and FGL charges at some point. That's going to be exciting. Uh, and then like in this guy, when you right click, you get to say, oh, Metrion gas, hey? Which, to be fair, we don't have any at the moment because we need this sucker to be online. Uh, actually, while we're here, just, um, just grab one of those too. All right. Um, so the passengers that I have on board at the moment have plenty of water to drink. They have plenty of oxygen to breathe. Um, so we just like, we just like, um, you know, I guess we're, um, just in full firefly mode at the moment, huh? Full serenity mode. It's a good place to be. It's a good place to be. I am, um... I guess uh, I'll, I'll be Jane. No, I don't want to be Jane. How are we doing? Yeah. But the battery's keeping us afloat. So that's nice. Okay. So we can just carry on doing a couple more missions. Getting a bit more money together. Uh, we're going to need... What? So we're going to need... A hundred grand for another reactor. We need a hundred grand for a drone bay. And we need... We're going to need a bunch of shit. A whole bunch of, of shit. You know what? I think we should go to the next sector. I think we've got enough... Enough going on right now that jumping to the next... Fuck. Um... All right. Well, we'll do that later on. Um, I also got that other medium tank. So let's plop that there. And so this is going to be for Metrion gas, which I'll pipe out that way and store it into the medium tank. That medium tank is then going to buffer into these two refineries, which we... Actually, the whole placement of this was pretty dumb, now that I look at it. But it's kind of... Oh, look! <laughs> that mining laser is just following us about. <coughs> oh, that's fun. Um, Alright, look. I'm just gonna... Let's just... Let's just jump. <clears throat> let's just jump to the next sector. Actually, if we jump to the next sector and we do the Tidlitz challenge, that might not be a bad way of getting a good amount of cash. What? Well, there's a Meteor for sale. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like it. What a nice design. Which way's the front? And which way's the back? He wondered. Well, I mean, sorry. We know because the front's always on the right. Uh, all right. Ready? Oh, big yump. Um, remember the time you tried Thurin? What? What am I hearing? Oh, someone's mining. Cool. Uh, I mean, I can't mine at the moment. I mean, I could. I could shoot the rocks. But I wouldn't be able to collect the gear because I don't have the um, the doobly doo. Um, doop 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 doop. Oh, that was easy. Mm. Yeah, we got lots of hyperspace isotopes that we can use when we're ready. Um, But for now, I want to see two things. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, let's see if I can avoid replicating the failure that we experienced last time, this time. Because last time we died. Although... The only thing that's standing between, 
Like, the only... The reason why we failed is because we ran out of fuel, right? Um... It's possible that that may happen again, but let's see. Um, I am going to take this. Um, I can't do either of those. Wait, I accepted. I completed that. <laughs> okay. Well, never mind. Um, we will also do a little bit of cargo while we're here. I've got 120... What? Yeah, okay. Cool. I will. Yes. 12 seconds in harvest pace. Sure, 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 sure. We know the story, my friend. We know the story. Uh, okay. So, here we go. Oh, hang on. Might be a good idea to get some uh, get some additional uh, FTL fuel. But I want to be making my own, and that's where we're headed, cats and kittens. And that's where we are headed. All right, deliver that. Oh no, tidlets. Yes. Oh, that's another thing I've just noticed. Uh, they got rid of the incredibly loud uh, tidlet screech. Um, so last time, like in the previous alpha, when you jumped in, the tidlet screeched and made a an horrific noise, and they don't do that anymore. And introversion, if you're watching, which you probably aren't, um, thank you. That's a lovely addition, a lovely change. Um, okay, so, got some cash. Done. Uh, we need... To, oh. Well, that's the opposite direction that we wanted to go, but that's okay. Because we do also want to do some... Do some stuff. Oh, and I think... If I look in the tactical view... I think I can hear... A comet. No. It's just regular stuff. Precious ore. Um, whoop, no, no. Stop, stop. Okay. Here we go. Hmm, just a nice, chill, chill time aboard ship, transporting some uh, some passengers and some tidlets, having a good time. Got 19 tidlets on board. We've still got nine, no, there they go, 26, 30, cool. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll deliver like more than what we need, that's fine. Um, passengers require transport across sectors. I can handle that. Um, we can handle that. It's 61 grand. That's actually well worthwhile. Um, let's maybe also take some, just some regular cargo and some passengers as well. Very nice. Uh, so we need to go up in that direction. Uh, Matahiro, welcome, my friend. It is good to see you. How are you? Are you having a lovely day? Or evening? Or morning? Or whatever the shit? I don't know. We're playing The Last Starship today. And I love this game. Even though, I mean, there's so many people that I've seen bitching about me. There's not much to do. I'm like... Guys, it's in early access, and it clearly says on the tin that it's alpha. Like, this one is alpha 2D. It's like some people can't read. Or don't care to. 5.39. I assume 5.39 p.m. Hmm. No, it'd be 5.39 a.m. for you, wouldn't it? In Estonia. You're up late. Um, are we set? We're set. Let's go. Jump. Shh. 
shady buyer. Hey, we've heard a rumor that you might have some rare, valuable life forms on board. Stop by your nearest contract board and we might be able to make a deal. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could do that. I'm not going to. I'm not. Oh, God, I've got to go so many jumps to get there. This is really bad. In hindsight, I should have looked at where this was. Because I'm going to burn. <gasps> ooh. 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 We're in a gas cloud. We're in a gas cloud. Uh, cables. Uh, zip. Gas collector. It's charging up. Ah? Huh? Ah? Huh? Metrion gas. 7.9 per second. Um, it's sucking down some fuel, though. We're going to need to be careful on this one. We're running low on water as well. Uh, do we have any water stored? No, that's wastewater. Uh, no, because I didn't buy the second tank. Poop. Poopies. Poopies. So apparently there's also a way that you can eject water into canisters, and I don't know what... I don't know about that. I don't know how to do that. Uh, okay, so water is a bit of a problem, but you know what? We're just going to sit here for a little while and suck up some of this Metreon. Actually, let's see if the next one is in the gas cloud. It's not, and we can't jump directly there. I hate that I've chosen to go this way, um, but that's okay. Um, let's just go up to like 10 speed for a bit. We're going to keep an eye on our fuel and water situation because that could kill us. Uh, so let's just gather until we... Let's go until, let's say, I don't know, 5,000 fuel remaining. Use 24-hour clock. Um, I do as well. I prefer 24-hour clock. Um, it is far less confusing than going, oh, is it AM or PM? Just say, no, it's 17.30. Uh, or now, it's 13.42. And, uh, all right, we're out of water and food. <laughs> Let's go. We're jumping. I mean, we might be okay without water and food for a little while, but I'd rather not starve and kill with thirst. Parch? Parch. I'd rather not starve and parch my um my crew, you know? Um, Alright. Boom. Done. Let's turn these two contracts in. And let's grab ourselves some water and food. And water and food. And... Oh, and I think some fuel is probably a pretty jolly idea as well. It's 160. Jesus God almighty. This is why we need to start mining, guys. All right. Let's uh, do what we need to do. Get some fuel on board. Get some FTO on board. Let's get ourselves... So I want to contract ideally nowhere near that. Uh, let's see if there's anything in NG23. Um, oh, really? Oh, this is the uh, turn over the tidlets to the guy that wants to... Uh, another across sector transport. I'll take that one. And then uh, System 31, I don't believe, is on our way. It's down here. Yes, we could take that. And we could maybe pick up another, uh, another one or two in NG23. Oh, no, because we still have to go via NG13. Then to 23 then to 31, and then to 15. Is it too much? Is that too much jumping? Is it too, it might be too much jumping, but you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to run the risk here. I'm going to run the old, run the old risk Uh Let's get that cargo loaded, please. And let's stand by to jump. We've got 78,000 bucks in our pocket. Uh, back to bed, watch you later. No worries, matter here. I'll put it up onto the, uh, the Astro Live channel as soon as I'm done. 
Uh, have a good sleep. Here we go. Uh, oh dear. Oh shit. Oh no. Uh, mm. All right. Mild, mild problem. Hmm. Okay, yes. Um, can I can I have a storage zone for tidlets? Um, maybe like in here and in here. We have those tidlets just moved out of the way for us, crew. Um, yes? Are you going to move the live ones as well or just the ones in boxes? Yes, just the ones in boxes. Okay. Um, all right, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. We're, we're totally, we're totally going to be fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing is fucked. Should probably turn. Yeah, we're, we're, we are definitely going to get there. Don't you, don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Um, uh, oh. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Um, yeah, see, I'm, I dare not take these because if I do, uh, is that inside the circle? I think it's inside the circle. Let's see. I think we'll be okay. Here we go. Ready? Boom. To the cargo. Complete. Uh, well, that could be a pro. Oh, no, it's okay. That's all right. All right. No storage for compost. That's not great. <laughs> None of what's happening right now is great. Um, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Trust me, we need more people on this ship. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, please. What? No. Deliver 1,488 tidlets, please. Get these fracking things off my ship. Uh, let's go into full super duper speed mode. And hope that we don't run out of fuel, because if we do, we're all going to die. Um, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Because um, there's no trade here. We've got no way of buying any more fuel. Uh, but we, 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 will just, we will just die. Hang on, wait. Wait, I got an idea. Um, let's get into the power group. We're going to shut off logistics. We're going to shut down... Uh, it's not using anything, really, but... I'll save every tiny little piece of power that I can, please. Um, 10x speed. Fuel's going down very slowly. The reactor's only running at 15, 16 megawatts. Now, hang on. I've got a great idea. Why are the water purifier... Why are they offline? I don't understand. Nice. Okay. We are using two megawatts of power. Now, the limiting factor is going to be how long this oxygen lasts. But we can always dance it back and forth. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Get these fucking things off my ship before we all die. We're just, we're gonna keep an eye on the O2 level there. When that starts to dip, then we're in trouble. But we're just like, we're just edging it. Um, did it say logistics? Oh, I see. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Well, I mean, I've disconnected them. I've physically disconnected them now, so. Will that... Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Well, if that's the case... You know what? Let's just... Reconnect them up. Because, yeah, if that's logistics, which... That makes sense. Turning one thing into another thing. Yeah, cool. How much are we using now? Hmm. 12 or 13. But O2 is climbing again, which makes me comfy. You know, we got plenty of um, CO2 to reprocess here uh, before we then st start needing to worry about... Start... Before we need to start worrying about... Wow, words. Words hard. Uh, about wastewater and that sort of shit, right? Um, so 830-odd. We're losing food, which is not great, but we're okay. Nothing is fucked. Plenty of fuel. Plenty of water. Plenty of CO2. No problems. Oh, we can configure this? No, we can see it. So apparently they want to have like a circuit diagram eventually as well, which I think would be pretty rad. All right. There's only about, only about 400 tidlets to go. Only. Um, but if my memory serves well, if this is anything like the previous um, alpha, the you know alpha one, when you give them a whole bunch of additional ones, then they give you a little gift. They give you some extra goodies, um, which would be nice. Oh dear, we're out of food. Well, that was bound to happen. Um, and it's totally fun. We can run with that food for a little while. Crew hungry. That's cool. That's cool, guys. We'll get you some food. Just eat a tidlet. There's plenty of them. Just have a little. Have a little nosh. They're a bit hairy, though. They're a bit hairy. Not, not much food is made better with hair. Um, should I jump out, or should let's jump back, and we'll do some farting around in this sector for a little while, because we've now got four hundred grand. That's given us a lovely humanitarian and logistics rating. Whoa, shit, actually. Holy far out. Pardon me. Um, that's an interesting thing to... That's a, a very interesting little hack. So... I got one point for each tidlet I delivered. And that catapulted me up to rank four for, hum for humanitarian, humanitarian and logistics. Now, here's the question. Yes, hello. Thank you so much. Good. Since you delivered an entirely new litter, we thought it only fair to reward you with a gift. We've sent you a couple of prototype long-range hyperspace sensors that are basically useless. Um, and the reason they're basically useless is because there's no anomaly in this version of the game. And so, as a result, there's no science path so that's a bit that's something they might have to have a look at so here we go stand by to jump crew hungry don't worry we'll fix that guys we'll fix that get you some food we'll get you some food all right uh now i brought on 10 crew last time but i don't have space suits for them um, I do want spacesuits for them. I also want some food. Great. How are we doing for water? 3808. Mm, that's probably okay for the time being. I'll get a couple of a couple of these guys. Now, do we have any industry things here that I want? No. Because the thing that I want is a friggin' drone bay. Um, we do have... Um, a couple of other bits and bobs there that I don't really are two of those. Yes, please. Because uh, I want buffers in here. Um, well, we've got that one. So I want, yeah, a water tank there. And then this one is currently output full because the O2 tank is full. 
So small tank goes there. Small tank goes there. Probably could have replaced that with a medium tank, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, put that in the wrong location. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, that should already just connect right in. Oh, they make a little noise now when they clinkety-clank. Um, okay. Good, good stuff. Great stuff. Um, can we also sell um, these two things? That's nice, because I can't use them, so I may as well sell them. Uh, let's sell... Should we, yeah, let's sell the compost. Uh, hydrate? I will. Um, thank you. Confirm. Well, that's nice. I mean, even if um, there's no real use for them, we can get use out of them by selling them. That's that's cool. Um, all right. Uh, one of the other things that I was thinking, you know what, is let's also grab another reactor and another battery, and that'll be fine. And we're going to install those next to their existing uh, counterparts. Um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Do, do. Oh, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. It's all gone wrong. That's all right. Doesn't matter. Uh, Righty dokey. So, second reactor coming online. It'll take a little bit of fuel to get us there. Um, but that should help to balance out our power requirements. Another battery to act as a buffer. And let's go shopping for contracts. Uh, deliver cargo to a nearby system and it's a timed quest. Yes, I will take that. Um, five minutes to get a bonus 50% pay. Sounds good to me. Where? There. Let's go. Um, and we're still gathering uh, Metreon gas there in the background, which is nice. Uh, all right, here we go. Stand by to jump. We only have 200 seconds. All right. Boom. What else can we do? We've got some more passengers that want to go to the next sector. Um, I could quite comfortably do that. Um, and another one. Very cool. Uh, all right. Well, unless there's... Oh, that's... Yeah. Let's go to the next sector. See what goodies we can find. Oh, uh, let's just grab a little bit of, uh, a little bit of food while we're here. Uh, we okay for water? Might be, probably need a little bit more water. That's fine. Uh, so, stand by to jump. It's feeling pretty good so far, I gotta say. Uh, you don't need to select that. We just need to cool down and prepare. And I'm interested. 6401. I wonder if the interstellar jump, like the between sector jump, gathers you more gas, or more isotopes, I should say, than the other ones. Uh, okay, so let's deliver these guys. Um, we've got a mission to go to that sector already, so we may as well take on a cargo mission there. And let's see what we can do in the logistics, sorry, the industry side of things. Anything else? Yes, there's our drone bay. I'll take two. Uh, I will also take five drones. Thank you very much. Uh, eventually, I want to start doing some ice things as well. Uh, but for now, for now, this is what we do. Now, that's where the gas is going to be there. When it comes to mining operations, that's going to happen up in this neck of the woods. So what I think we might do is we're going to put these drone bays um, just here. Uh, and I'll then...
create a storage zone for drones, logistics drones, in between them so that they can be loaded quickly and easily. Um, I, I'll probably have another two here as well um, by the time all is said and done. And then the people will get the gear out of that and haul them up here where we can do smelting. I'll have a, 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 a an ice grinder up here as well. Um, yeah, that, that seems like a fun and happy way to do things. Uh, some, no, we need cables for this. There we go, there we go. And let's see, what do we have in this map? Uh, so, NG38 here, it looks like there might actually be some, uh, some good mining to be had in there. Um, liquid and stretching, I am hunching forward a little bit, aren't I? I am. But I do do that when I'm playing games like this. I get all, I get all limbered up and lean right on in. How about if I uh, if I lean back a little bit? Let's go to NG38. I know that we've got passengers to transport. Ah, we'll do the we'll do the loop to loop. We'll do the loop to loop. Eight FTL. We're doing okay. Oh wait, before we go. Five thrusters, bring it up. Because at the moment, aligning this thing and doing basically anything with it is slow as balls, and I would like to resolve that as as quickly as I can. Not really as quickly as I can. But, you know. Now. All right. So... Let's go ahead and install our thrusters. And the way that they're designed to be installed in this ship apparently is like this, which seems rather interesting to me, but um, I'm not going to have enough to do all of these, am I? Is that how it is supposed to happen? Uh, no, they can't reach them. So that's a problem. That's the way that the, the ship is initially designed to happen, but it doesn't seem to work on this because these walls evidently are too thick. Um, so I guess we put them on the outside. Uh, so let's have one, two, And, um, I don't know, I guess, like, there. Still got plenty of space for weaponry later on down the line. Uh, well, you guys can GTFO. I will take this courier mission to the next sector that we're going to. Uh, and while we're doing that, let's actually put some cables into these thrusters so that they'll work. Wouldn't that be a jolly idea? Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and this one can connect straight up. And this one, I kind of want to run around the wall like that. That seems nice. All right. Stand by. Jump. Righty ho. Here you are, folks. Welcome to your new home. Um, please get out. And well, well, well. If it isn't a series of critical mining things. So, what do you want? A huge demand for FTL fuel cells. Hello. Mm -hmm. Interesting, too. See that this also still says to power the evacuation ships. Well, that doesn't exist in this because we don't free roam. So there's a lot of things in this game that need finagling. Um, what else we got here? FTL fuel cells. Oh, I see. They only want tilium ore. Okay. 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 We can do tilium ore and tilium ore and tilium ore and tilium ore. Um... That's a lot of silly more that we need, but that's totally fine. B 
boom. Let's go mine some asteroids. This is probably going to take us a little while with just a single mining laser, now that I think about it. Um, do we need four? I think maybe two. I think maybe two is good. And some more drones. Yes. Four is probably a bit crazy. Um, hello. Hello. Please. Oh, I just need to manually rotate you. Okay, that's fine. Um, yep, and... I, it was only two, wasn't it? Okay, well, that's kind of perfect. It fits in there just so. Uh, okay, stand by to jump. Here we go. This is where the fun begins, cats and kittens. Alright. There's a whole bunch of Tilium right there. In hindsight, I'm really hoping... I'm really hoping... That the... Uh, why is that velocity only four? That can't be our max velocity, surely. It is. That's like literally, we're, we're flat out. Full tilt, we can manage four velocity um, getting into combat with this vessel is not advised uh, the other thing that I'm worried about is do we have enough power on board with our two reactors nope but 55 megawatt is going to the engines okay hold up So now that we're stationary, are, are we stationary? Thank you. We are now stationary. Now that we're stationary, we can reconnect these. And we should have enough for them to basically fire continuously. Nope. Maybe. We can just about handle two mining lasers running. Um, gather materials, please, drones. There's plenty to be gathered. Here's the other question. I want Tilium Ore to be stored here. That's gas. Tilium Ore. So we could, I mean, they're asking for ore. But what I'm going to do is, first of all, I need to keep a very close eye on what's going on here. Because at the moment we're burning a large amount of fuel. Because these reactors are running full tilt.
420. Nice. Um, so I'm going to harvest up, I reckon, about a thousand tilium. I reckon about a thousand tilium. That sounds fun. That sounds like a good thing for us to gather. Maneuvering a little bit closer to this patch. Do I need a thousand? Is a thousand greedy? I feel like a thousand is greedy. Again, we're just keeping an eye on that fuel. But... Very shortly, I'm going to want to make my own fuel. Like, we are very shortly going to be able to make our own FTL. Whoopsie doodle. It's T to exit tactical mode. We are very shortly going to be able to manufacture our own FTL fuel. In fact, we can probably... Nah, we'll do that later. Get some Tilium first. Uh, what else? You can also gather salvage and repair the hull. We're doing a peaceful run. Doing a peaceful run. So I'm going to get myself about a thousand tilium, if we can manage it. We're going to need to move to another patch in a moment to gather some more. Um, we're going to turn these missions in to get some cash. Is that it? How much have we got? 784, there's still a bunch, there's still a bunch floating around out here, so we'll work for them to gather it all up. I love these little drones, they're so cute. So let them gather the rest of those tilium, uh, tilium ores. Um, we've got lots of compost, and nothing to use it for. How are we doing? Hey, we're actually doing okay, for power. Oh, because the, the mining lasers aren't firing. Uh, Alright, let's give these guys a few minutes to gather the rest of it up. When we see that they stop, um, then we can go ahead and... Oh, they've found something over there, have they? Mm. Mm, evidently someone else is mining and left some goodies behind for us. Lovely. Uh, well, let's move our way this way then. A real big mining session. Starting to run low on food. But we should be good for another couple of days. And then I'd like to find a comet. That would be ideal. How are we doing for our other... My God, that's loud. So we're totally full on hyperspace isotopes, which is absolutely rad. Uh, and we're pretty full on Metreon gas as well. So we will be able to start making some stuff pretty soon. Um, I'm just going to wait until this patch is... Comp I'm, I'm going to get as much Tilium as we can. This is going to be a big, big, big mining session. Lovely. So we've we've picked these asteroids clean. Um, I think then we should uh, head our way back. Uh, no, that's um, the wrong button. Um, and stand by to yump. Well, at least we're aligning a little bit quicker now. But I think two more. Um, two more. Are you still collecting up some stuff? Okay, we'll wait for that drone to finish up. Um, I reckon we go with two more engines soon as well. 
just to make this sucker a little bit more maneuverable. Why is there still a drone deployed? Where were you going? That's miles away. Come on, little dude. Here we go. Away! Nice. Let's turn him in. All right. So let's see if this contract turns in correctly. So what it should do is for each of these ones, like for this one, they require 160 tilia more. They should deliver them 160 and then we keep the rest, right? If they do it wrong, there you go. Okay, done, done. Done, done. Nice. Nice. Okay. $679,600. Uh, we're going to get some logistics. Oh, no. No, you get the logistics points when you actually do the mining. All right. I want one of them. I want another one of them. I want two more drone bays. I want, I've got a chemical lab already. I think, I can't remember what the ratio was. Uh, during the demo video, they showed like different ratios of, of um, stuff. Uh, right, now, ooh, hang on, wait, energy. Another reactor? Uh, yep. Um, we're probably going to need another medium tank at some point. Might as well grab a couple while we're here. Um, okay. All righty then. Oh, do I want a loader? No. Cool. Here's what we're going to do. Um, so with these two chemical labs, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these ones to refined metrion gas. All right, Metrion gas. Um, I'm also going to install my gas collector, my second gas collector. Um, I am going to have Metrion gas, and then the Metrion gas can pump into this guy. Uh, actually, hang on. Let's move some things around here because I need some more space. Um, because at the moment things are a little bit squishy, because I didn't think it, I, I didn't think this quite far enough through. Now you two, I think you can be cabled up again. And you know what? Let's reconnect those guys as well. Reconnect you, or connect you, and then pipe the Metreon gas this away. Um, that metrion gas then needs to be piped into these two refineries, but which hole? Does it matter which hole? Guess not. Uh, okay. And then that's, that, that's, that's it. That's all they need is metrion gas. So we'll reconnect those. They'll start to, to do their thing. Now I, mm, they don't. Yes. So they don't need a tank there. So let's dismantle that tank. Let's install our two chemical labs then. Um, so we'll have a couple here and here. Once they're in, we'll have a look at what these guys need. And we'll figure out what the fuck we're doing. Uh, okay. Boom and boom. Cables. And I want you to make fuel, please, which requires refined metrion. Mm-hmm. 
Now, does that come out of this as a canister? No. See, the red line here means that the output is blocked. So I then need a pipe to come out of the refined metrion gas and to come down uh, this away. This one can connect up to this away. And we'll go across this away and into here and here. And then these two chemical machines produce fuel. And that fuel is going to be piped all the way the heck back down to the front of the ship like that. We are now producing our own fuel. Although the output is blocked because our fuel tanks in here, our single medium fuel tank, is chock-a-block full. But we can, we can resolve that. I mean, we've got a large, uh, sorry, a, a couple more medium tanks. So I could just straight up go with more medium tanks. Um, oh, I have an idea. I have a great idea. Um, so here's how we do it. I'm going to install a loader um, in here. Yes, right in front of one of these reactors. And then mm, unload fuel. Stop. Is this a good idea? Seb, what I can do is unload a bunch of fuel, fuel, and then sell it for seventy-five hundred bucks a throw. It is a kind of plan, so I could become Mister Fuel Man and like produce fuel and just sell it. So that could be fun, uh, but what I might do is not do that. Um, but we will not load any new fuel into the system. I want to be self-sufficient. If we can. If we can. I mean, at the moment, we're running low on Metreon gas. These guys do suck a fair amount of juice by the looks of it. How's my power grid looking? 34 to 50 megabyte, uh, megawatts, megabytes. Uh, let's go find some more uh, Metreon gas. Um, actually, no. Was there a gas cloud there? I don't think there was, was there? What about this guy? There's a bit of a smudgy smudge up here. Let's see. Let's see if we can find ourselves some Metreon gas. Negative. There is no, met no Metreon gas here. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, what about... We're just, have, just having a little explore around here. Just a little explore. Uh, is that... Is that a gas cloud? There's not really a noticeable smudge there, is there? All right, let's let's uh, let's just have a fart about and see what we can find. And then at some point, we probably need to arm ourselves, stand by for battle. In fact, do you know what? There is a re a very good reason why we would. Okay, that's not great. But don't worry, I have a cunning plan. Back at the shipyard. Back to safety. Um, oh, manufacture resources. Mm, please make some 33 stacks of fuel. We're not going to be able to do that. Not going to be able to do that. 43 stacks of oxygen. Interesting. Um, no, uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set these guys to, excuse me, to refine Tillium. Good. And then what's going to happen is, uh, the crew are going to come and put this Tillium ore into these smelters and turn them into Tillium crystals. Then the next thing that I want in my industry list of things is two more chemical labs. Confirm. 
And those two more chemical labs, I'm going to put those guys. Oh, they're not here yet. Let's put them here for this thing. Actually, they're not meant to be stop. They're not meant to be placed um, in front of each other. They're supposed to be placed like this because eventually, uh, like at the moment, these chemical labs just do the thing. But eventually, they're going to be like the workbenches in uh, Prison Architect. And eventually, why can I not configure that? Does it need power before I can configure it? Okay. I will give you some power. Why are we... Oh. All right, so this one, we're going to make FTL charges, which requires hyperspace isotopes and tilium crystals, and we'll create FTL charges. Uh, so boom, like that. And then we're going to install... No, we need some pipes, please. And they're going to come in here. And they are here. And that's our hyperspace, hyperspace, hyperspace isotopes taken care of. And then these guys... Well, someone's going to... Wait, it needs crystals? Wait... Yes. Good. Okay. Raw tilium ore becomes tilium crystals. Uh, we have produced 16 thereof. I may want some storage for them down here. Here we go. Uh, storage tilium crystals can live here. Lovely. Lovely. Just, just delightful. Just a delightful little way to have things... Uh, and, and to do, and to do the things. Uh, okay, how are we doing on the power grid? 81 megawatts, not bad. Not bad. We're not making any fuel anymore because we've run out of fuel. Uh, but we've got plenty of hyperspace isotopes to work through. And uh, as a result, we are then going to get from 100 isotopes and 5 tilium crystals, we get an FTL charge. And then... We are self-sufficient. That's it. Game over. I mean, it's not. Why do I keep pausing the flipping game? Uh, okay. And what does it look like when they do the thing? It does not. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Yay. Four FTL charges. Five FTL charges. Seven FTL charges. Eight FTL charges. Uh, my chemical labs aren't functioning because we uh, we're out of. Oh, that's right. Okay. Cool. 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 Super cool. How are we doing on fuel? Not great. Not great on fuel. Got to be said. Not not wonderful. Um, you can probably load fuel again, as can you. Um, and ideally, I think we want a couple more tanks. Uh, to store said fuel. Uh, and I'm going to place those just across the way here. Uh, and ideally... This will help us as well. And... Let's have the other reactor on this side. And then the ice grinder, I'll just plop in. Oh, geez. Uh, that kind of needs to be in here, doesn't it? Uh, and these two additional drone bays can go in. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Um, cables. Cables. Oh, that's the wrong way around. You know what? Don't look at it. Just don't look at it. Just ignore it. All right. So, fuel. Looking good. We've got 88 grand. 
we are earning points in industry as we speak because these uh, these guys are just just doing their thing. Um, oh, there we go. I reckon we need a couple more smelters for Tellium Crystals to keep these both up and running. Or I could change one of them over to explosives, which we will need later on. But that requires uh, that requires Metreon. Okay, you can just keep making FTL charges then. Uh, we may need more crew. Uh, and also there's a... Um, uh, they mentioned the idea of maybe having like little robots that just do hauling stuff, like the scudders in Red Dwarf, um, which that'd be rad. Or like maybe even robotic arms, right? So similar to Factorio, um, you could have like these little robotic arms like pulling... Um, well, these, these aren't really good examples, but like... Um, the refined Metreon here, it could lift that out of there and place it into one of these, which would be, that'd be sweet. That'd be a great way to be able to like, just do, 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 um, cause you know, these guys are automated, then they pipe into this as a buffer, but then the buffer between here and here is like, I mean, actually what I should do, uh, storage, a uh, refined Metreon, which I don't think I'm going to be able to find. Nope, there I can. Uh, so that should buffer there, right? So when these guys make refined Metreon, it gets placed there, which then gets placed into the chemical lab, and then the output is already piped, so you don't need to worry about it. But ideally, you'd then have an arm that did that for you, or some little scusser job, no, scutter robots to do things for you. Um, okay, no destination set. Let's go to the next, next sector uh, and have a look around for more things, more fun things to mine and do. Um, interesting. You can go to the next sector. Still can't go back. I think that that might be a thing that they might want to think about. Yump. So here's where we currently stand. My O2 is rock solid at 12,000. My water is basically solid. Food is a problem. Food is a problem. Uh, is that a smudge? I can't quite tell. Uh, also, that's a problem. We're in sector two. Did I not jump just then? Oh, I did. It's fine. It's fine. Ignore me. I'll be honest. It's because I'm mildly hungry right now. It's starting to get a bit peckish. Ooh, there's a gas cloud. Uh, the hostiles that are there worry me though. Uh, and there's a comet. Sweet. Let's go mine some water. Uh, after we go and get some food. Okay. Do you have anything else that I might want? Another gas collector, perhaps? Uh, some more drones? Perhaps. Uh, but no, let's just go with some food. Um, some food. Some, some food. That's not great. Uh, okay. Can I make it through to the colony? I certainly can. It's a fairly long jump, but that's okay. Oh, actually, do you have any thrusters while I'm here? No. Hmm. Hmm. Feels to me like maybe jumping to this third sector was uh, not a great idea. But man, we're doing just well for FTL charges right now. Um, would you like to sell me some food? Yes, I will take all of your food, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, would you also like to... Oh, yeah, we can sell these for 2600 a pop. That's nice. 
that is about an ounce. Hmm. Um, okay, what else can we think about here? So fuel is actually starting to concern me a wee bit. Um, what I'd like... What I would like... Is maybe another gas collector or two. Just so we can speed up our gas collection. Um, I Yeah, let's also have one of those. It'll give us something else to do with our Metreon. Um, and a couple more of those. And... No. Okay, well actually... No, those I do want, not those. I can't afford those. Wow, how much... Oh, I see. The munitions factory. Okay, cancel that one. Just give me the gas collectors for now, please. Um, and we'll worry about the rest of this stuff later. Bonk. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hope that this guy here is deep enough into the gas cloud for us to be able to harvest up a good amount of Metreon. Uh, does anyone want us to... You want some bullets. You want... FTL fuel cells. Hello. Uh-huh. Um, oh, no. I see. They want Tilium. Um, I mean... I, I could just give you that right now. Like, I have plenty of Tilium. Sure. Have some Tilium, man. <laughs> no worries. Um, let's get that offloaded. Doop, 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 doop. It means that we can produce less FTL um, packs, charges, but we do have 31 of them already, so we are good to go. Derp, adios muchacho, feel better soon, uh, which you probably didn't hear because I only just looked up and saw that message, so I'll see you next time. Uh, let's go jumping. Oh, do you have any thrusters? Never mind. Let's make some money. Make some money out of fuel. Interesting. Okay, so these guys are doing their thing. May as well install the other two. Uh huh. And uh huh. And you know what? Another medium tank full of uh, Metreon gas would not go astray. A friend of mine has just started playing Conan Exiles, apparently. I should probably give him a call. I haven't spoken to him since before I uh, moved to Melbourne. I mean, before I moved back from Melbourne to Sydney. Okay, so. Things are happening. We're refining Metreon. The tanks are also filling up. Uh, we are producing fuel. At a delicious rate. So we're now positive on fuel. We're okay on water, but not great. And we are super fine on FTL charges. The only thing that we do need to stop in for now is food. That's my prediction for Alpha 3. Uh, which will be, according to their last video, it should be about six weeks from now. Um... And my guess is that Alpha 3 will introduce a very basic how to grow your own food. And it'll use the... Oh, we're out of storage space for FTL charges. Fantastic. Um, let's expand our storage then. How are we doing for Tilium? Heaps. So, we are full tilt. We are producing everything. No, we've stopped producing um, fuel. 
because we are full. Where are we? We are not. So, this is a refueling stop. We are going to sit here. We'll run at full speed until we either A, run out of food, or B, ideally, what I'd like to do is have full fuel tanks and full tanks of Metreon gas. Do I have another tank? No. Damn. Um, and then, once we're done with that, oh, carry on. Isn't this great? This is absolutely delightful. I love it. What time is it? 14.41. Too late for me to go down and grab a coffee. Bugger. That's right. Actually, that's interesting. Let's have a look at these. 1.4 per second. That's not very high. Um, no, exterior is what I want. And there they go. Spin it away. Do, 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 do. And we feel it because I like it. No, so no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop. Um, all right. How are we looking? Let's go to schematic. All right. So we're at 53% fuel. Power's looking good. Totally full on water. Um, uh, on oxygen, I should say. Uh, and we're keeping up with our CO2. That's fine. Uh, we are totally on top of uh, waste treatment and waste water. We're at 93% on the old water side of things. Um, no storage for FTL charges. Again, that's fine. 85 FTL. I don't think I've ever had 85 FTL charges in this game. <laughs> Um, fuel still going up. We're at 61% there. Uh, how are we doing on Metreon gas storage? No Metreon gas stored, which means these labs, um, if we, excuse me, exit out of that. Oh, it's right mouse. Yeah, see their buffer is not being satisfied. Maybe, maybe. Let's try NG fifty three. Let's see if the see if the cloud is is um, thicker in here. All right, how are you looking? Six point nine per second. Heaps better. Heaps better. All right. So these tanks are starting to fill now. These guys are full. I don't know. Not quite. Hmm. Interesting. Ah. It's the Metreon gas refineries that are the bottleneck. I need one more of them to feed two of these, I reckon. But at least we're keeping on top of this so that we can fill up these tanks. In fact, what I could do is if I just make this one stop, then this one is running at full tilt, not pausing. And we can save some of the fuel that we're burning because we're not, you know, we're not making as much. Uh, FTL charges are... Well, we've produced 42 out of each of those. 51 out of that one, actually. Shall we make some more FTL storage space? Yes. Do we need this much? No. We do not need this much FTL fuel. Um, unless we want to start selling it. Which we could do. That could be fun. Um, and then... Oh, man. Alright. I need to know. I need to know. Let's wait for this fuel to fill. Um, we're still making FTL charges. We are now out of Tilium, um, so we'll need to go mining again to get some more. 
Uh, these are not quite filling. Uh, oh, they're down to 1.x per second. Oh, interesting. So that decreases as you're in a sector. Now, what happens then if I... My velocity is 1. My velocity is 4. So, as we move around... Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right, Chris, I see what we've done there. 5.7, 5.6. And then as we are in this deeper cloud here, or in this darker cloud, and then it decreases. Okay. And then we can move again. Four. No, it's dropping. And then it decreases. So, like, as you're in an area, you're, like, sucking up and removing the gas from that area. I dig it. I like it. Um, oh, now it's going the other way. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Let's turn this one back on. Why not? But we do need a new refinery. Or another refinery. And then ideally we need to sort of re some of this stuff because it's a little bit... A little bit all El Wonko. What I could do is I could relocate the refineries and put them in here. And put a third one in. Then have the pipe come out and come down and go this way. It won't connect with the fuel pipe here. Unless you connect, like manually connect it on and then it all freaks out. Um, but if you just like zip, zip, zap, that'll actually connect up nicely. And then we can roll some of this stuff back, which will make more room for um, hyperspace isotope work. Uh, I can then also think about putting refineries, I guess, in the more chemical plants over here, making explosives. That would also be a good idea. And I would probably need even more refineries so I can make explosives. I mean, can I just... Yes, I can. I want some explosives. Let's have some explosives. Um, let's maybe see if we can find another slightly thicker part of this nebula. No, we're down to one per second. I think we've sucked up most of this cloud. Um, which is fine. Which is fine. Alright. So from here, uh, the other thing that I would like to have a little tinker with is let's go here. Get out of schematic mode. So I think that's pretty good. We've made quite a great deal of uh, fuel. We have made a shit ton of FTL charges. Um, and the only thing that we're running low on at the moment is food. But that's okay. Let's go mine a comet. Now I don't know how hard this is going to be considering this comet may be moving. And this ship at the moment is incredibly... No, that's the wrong window. Uh, is incredibly slow. Um, yes, it is moving. But that's okay. It's probably only going to be moving about as fast as we are. Which is barely... Like, we're barely breaking thruster speed. Stand by for mining operations. Mm, Roger.
I want to be actually here. Cheeky little intercept of this comet. Ah, oh, look at it. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> uh. There we go. Ooh, that's not great. Are we still making fuel? No. Are we still making FTL? Maybe. No. That's not great. She's getting away from us, Captain. Because we're running at full speed and we're unable to keep our systems online. That's alright. We'll do what we can. So, I also want a... Ice? Ice. Water ice. I want water ice to be stored here, please. Yeah, or, you know, or just take it wherever you want it. That's fine. Um, we'll just keep going until... We can no longer chase this thing. Or we could pull some power out of logistics. Oh no, that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, we kind of need that, huh? Uh, okay. Well, we're basically um, to the point where we can't keep up with this sucker. And as soon as these guys range out, which they're about to do, I would suggest. Uh, I think we... We can probably stop. Um, and that'll be fine. Uh, Alright, so this produces uh, 10 wastewater every 2 seconds. It has produced 570 already. Uh, which is then getting purified. And then turned into water. And, like, we're totally fine. That'll, that'll keep us running for a while now. Uh, okay. Let's re-cable this guy. The fuck was that noise? Oh, you can still reach it? Okay. Ah, uh, when it's on the close side. Time for us to go and get some new engines, yeah? Might be a might be a jolly idea. All right, uh, let's uh, have a look at our sector map then. Um, so I think maybe skipping back to the shipyard might be the shout here, um, and we'll see what we can do about uh, getting ourselves some goodies. Uh, we are missing a drone though. Where are you, little drone? Have you lagged all the way behind? Is that you back there? I think it is. Oh no, there he is. 
He's just he's just hanging out. Oh no, is that the mining light? Is the the old Oh no, it is, it is. It is. Um he's on his way somewhere. Maybe it was just that one last hit managed to knock a bit off. And he is heading off into who knows where. He's just decided that he's just done with life. We are catching him up, though. Actually, wait, what am I doing? Orders. Get inside. There he is. Uh, so... Let's go. Because uh, we need to stock up on food. Um, which I don't believe this uh, starbase had any of. No. Um, so we are donkey hoary on FTL charges for the rest of time. Uh, we have two stacks of explosives, which is nice. Um, do you have some engines, please? Yes. Um, I think we probably want one more real ship. All right. Well, um, shit. Uh, I guess we don't get those new engines yet. <laughs> hmm. Um, let's go to the next sector. So I will say, in the previous alpha, especially in the um, in the campaign mode, it was very easy to get very rich very quickly. Um, in this though. It is a much more chill affair. Because you can't get those massive bonuses from the science um, missions. Um, is there anyone that wants to go to the uh, to the next um, the next sector? No? No, never mind then. Uh, Alright, let's jump to the next sector and see what we can find. Oh, actually, do you have any food while we're here? You don't. Okay, so we do need to jump so we can get more food. Um, but on the plus side, we're getting some hyperspace isotopes, cats and kittens. Delicious. Mm. Those hyperspace isotopes are going to turn into yummy, yummy FTL charges. Now, having said what I said a moment ago, let's jump into the next sector here. Speed this up. Hold up. Would you like to sell me some food? No. Okay, so they got no food. Um, would you like to buy some compost? Uh, no, buy... So if I just did one mining mission where I just went and got a bunch of um, tilium, refined it, and then sold it, I can make 243 grand. That's pretty... That's pretty good. That's pretty... Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Actually, wait. Let's look at the sector map first. Uh, there's a comet there that we could mine. Uh, there's some gas here that we could grab. It doesn't look like there's... Like, yeah, no, there's no... There's no... Um, uh, no asteroids for us to mine. That's a bit of a shame. Um, there is a mission that's worth 820 grand. Oh, I like the flashy dotted lines on that. That's cute. Um, but we're in no way ready to do that just yet. Um, okay, so let's get rid of the sex map. Let's do that trade. Um, and let's go ahead and actually, I'm going to buy two more engines from you. Thank you. So we've basically just straight traded a bunch of FTL for a couple more engines, which I'm going to install... Are you shitting me? Oh, okay, cool. And down here I can have one. So now we can move a little bit faster, which will be nice. Um, although this will consume our fuel a little bit faster, which won't be nice, but it's a necessary evil. So, two new engines. Good to go. Next. How are we looking for our reactors? They're going to spool up momentarily when these engines come online, but no, we're okay. There's the second one going in. Lovely. 
Uh, I want to harvest up some more water, please. Um, and you need to buy all of my FTL fuel. Boom. Done. Let's go. Uh-huh. And... Lovely. So, with our new engines, we're able to now hit nine velocity. Ooh. Oh, shit. We're out of, oh, yeah. We're out of food. I knew we were out of food. That's fun. But at least at nine velocity, we can continue to um, just stroll along behind this guy. Oh, actually. We're going to have power issues. We're going to have power issues because now we've got two more engines running. That's all right. We'll manage it. Okay. It's not too bad. We might be able to hold this up. Ah, I think I know why our power is doing a little bit better this time is because we don't have any of the other chemical labs running. But we are still full tilt and the batteries are dipping. Um, oh, you silly sausage. It's me wondering why. Damn. Look at all this water ice that's trailing out behind us. So we're going to have to, like, get all of this. And then double back. Yep, there's the battery low warning. Delicious water ice. No, slow down. Crew hungry. I'll bet they are. 
unfortunately, there ain't shit all I can do about it because the last two places we went to had no friggin' food. All right, so that should be the end of our little ice farming adventure. We have some ice. We have a lot of wastewater, and that's chock-a-block. That's good. It's very good. All right, where do we need to get to? I think that from here, we should mosey on up to the colony here, double back to 59 for some uh, Metreon gas, and then move to the next sector and do a bit more mining. Um, but for now, this is looking good. I'm like, I'm really enjoying the flow of this. The, in, the industry se uh, sort of side of this is definitely a nice addition. But Tilium is definitely something that we want to start getting some of. Righty-ho. Have you got any food? You do. Okay, well, let me just buy all of this because I'm sick to death of having to fluff about getting food. Everything else we're good for. We're golden. That's the biggest problem that we have. Uh, so we'll double back here. We'll have a look at getting some... Tilium. Now, hopefully it's Tilium and not precious ores. But if the worst... Oh, sorry, some... Um, not Tilium. Some friggin' Jubilee, what's it? Metreon gas. All right. And I would like some more thrusters, actually, while we're here. Uh, two more thrusters. Okay. Ready to go? Ready to go. Three point five per second, lovely. Now, what I'm going to try is, I'm just going to try and move in a direction, and no storage for explosives. That's a good problem to have. A great problem to have. That means that I can make a storage area for explosives. Uh, I think we'll repurpose this FTL charge area here, uh, or. Where do we want to produce our ammunition? One of these bays, perhaps? Yeah. All right. Storage. Clear. Uh, let's go with explosives. Which are where exactly? Explosives. Let's go with an, ex an explosive storage zone here. Because at the moment... Oh... Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, let's maybe... Uh, we don't need to store tidlets here. Let's just put all of our food in here. Where it's nicely out of the way. Just nicely out of the way. The crew is apparently hungry. Uh, we've got 4,500 food, so I don't quite understand how that's the case. Uh, and these things are pulling in a good amount of gas. Uh, these guys are running well, and I may as well... Oh, I forgot to um, I forgot to pick up another refinery, didn't I? That's okay. That's okay. We allow ourselves to make mistakes sometimes. Um, I think the next thing for us to think about would be maybe getting another hyperspace scoop to just amp up our collection of uh, hyperspace isotopes. Um, that might that might help us be a little bit more productive. Uh, and then the next thing we want to play with, the final thing to play with, is uh, we're going to have a look at making bullets, which I think will be very fun. Uh, we seem to be decreasing our amount of gas that we're collecting, so let's head in this direction. That's the wrong button. It's going down now. Let's try... Go that way. 
It's still going down. I think it's just this way. I think it's just that there's a limited amount of Metreon gas per sector and you gather it fast at the start and it then sort of tapers off. Um, but, well, we're getting into it. We're making explosives. We've made f close to 500, ex 500 explosives, uh, which should allow us to do some fun things. Um, okay, how are we looking? We're down to 10,000 fuel, which is a little concerning. Um, so what I might do is just flip this one out and change that to make fuel. I think we have enough explosives for now. Uh, good. Manufacturing fuel, which is now increasing. It doesn't actually help that I'm moving about, does it? No, because like I'm burning fuel to move around to gather metreon gas which there is not a lot of. Now, is one per second the floor? It appears to be the case. That appears to be as low as it goes, which is not quite enough to keep these two running full tilt which is then definitely not enough to keep these two running full tilt. And our fuel is currently at a flat line. Like it's not actually... Oh, it's very, very, very slowly increasing. Extremely slowly. And we've already ground up all of that water. So basically, right now, with only four of these gas collectors and only two refineries, we've got enough to just keep us steady, but not enough to like fully recharge whilst we're inside the nebula. So if I had a stack more of these suckers, but then how much do they how much power do these draw? I wonder. No. It'd be nice if I could break this down and see further. Um, I mean, the engines are drawing 13 megawatts just idling, which is not great. Alright, let's get these thrusters installed on the outsides of the ship. And we'll cable them up. And we'll think about getting some more of these. But then where do we put them? That's the problem. In this ship, there's not a huge amount of space. I suppose what I could do is close off this central area here and have this whole forward bay just be gas suckers. And that's the only way that we could stay on top of it. Yeah, let's do that. How much cash do we have? 36 grand. That's not a lot. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, where do we want to go? A derelict? Ooh, this hostile's there, though. Let's try this colony. No, that's where we went last time. Let's try this shipyard. Um, do I want to sell anything? I can sell some compost. Uh, explosives were worth 1600 bucks, which is pretty good. Um, but I'll just sell these explosives for now. Oh, sorry, the compost for now. Um, and let's move along home, I think. We'll see what's in the next sector for us. Uh, once we've done the trade. Lovely. And we're down to 14 FTLs, uh, which means we want some Tilium, ideally. Charging, ready, jump to next sector.
What do we got? All right. Uh, there is some mining to be done. Sadly, it and the distress call here are inside of... Um, well, sorry. Sadly, there are hostiles there. This distress, distress call, however, we can absolutely have a squiz at. Um, let's prepare that up. I mean, I'm sorry about the distress, distress call. Um, we can't really help you. Or we might be able to. Actually, I don't know. I will need to check something. Rescue civilians from wrecked ship. The ship engine core will explode in just 289 seconds! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Let's... Alright. We're gonna do some docking. In fact, what I want is to approach and be here, and then we're gonna have to rotate. And then, because our docking port is on the rear of the ship, uh, so I'm gonna have to, like, rotate, and then turn our butt towards them. Okay, stop there. We have 200 seconds to dock. It's fine. Glad I picked up those extra thrusters, huh? Alright, here we go. Here we go. This is going to be really, really... Actually, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. This ship is very, very heavy. I'm just lining up these little things. Oh, we're drifting. We're drifting. There. We got him. Yes. Yes. Welcome aboard, friends. One second. Oh. <gasps> hull bridge. We have a hull bridge. That is bad. The docking port took a hit. Um, don't worry about that, everyone. Suits on. Okay. Wow, that's the first time that's happened. 
but we did manage to rescue 33 out of 64 which considering how like this ship is 100% not designed for quick docking um, so I think we did okay there I think we did okay um, and now we're going to um, pick over the, car the corpse of their ship because of course we are um, all right, how are we looking? 65%, 66% on the whole bridge. Um, O2 is dropping, but we're okay. No one's suffocating yet. Um, let's go out of slow mode. We're okay. We're okay. Let our little dudes do some repairs here. Um... Patching up the uh, the hole in the hull. And hopefully, we can get this docking port repaired as well. There we go. Okay. She's going to retract. Retract. Do our thing. Great. Now, gather salvage, please. Because there's a bunch of yummy little things here that we can have a little go at. Um... There's a dead engine there. But yeah, mainly just metal scrap. Now that's good. Metal scrap is actually a useful resource. Because what we can do... Is on this guy... We can change this and we can say please... Turn scrap metal... Into metal ingots. Won't that be interesting? Because metal ingots, well, and we can make things with that. We can make bullets. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Storage. Logistics drones. Can I have some over here and a few less over there? Thank you. How many drones do I actually have? Uh, also, take your suits off, guys. Ooh, that's one other thing. I can't I can't display it right now because I only have one ship. But fleet logistics is now a thing. I don't have logistics because we only have one ship. But it's now possible to trans transfer stuff between ships, which I think is very cool. Uh, okay. Are there some goodies? You better believe it. What is in this? Uh, okay, well, let's just get in there. We'll do some mining. Whoop. Ah. Metallic minerals. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. some back over here. So it looks like that's all we have in this sector is metallic. Oh no, there's some tilium there. Great. Can I come and have this tilium, please? Because we're going to need some of that. Um, because I explicitly, really desperately, maybe we should change one of these to Tilium and one of these to Metallic Minerals. Okay. So, this is good. This is good. We're satisfying two of our requirements here with one fell swoop. We are, however, not looking good when it comes to fuel. And I don't see any nebulas in this sector, unless this counts. Uh, but we're going to have to go via this colony down here and then back up again. Um, but that's okay, because there's a thing in that colony, there may be a thing in that colony that we want to buy. 
Um, how are we looking? There we go. Metallic stuff going on. Good, good, good. At the moment, my storage zones are very poor and everything's laid out very, very stupidly, but that's okay. We should be able to hit that from here. Yeah. Okay, actually, I will move a little bit closer so that we can then hit this next Tilium field. And what's over here? Precious ore. Well, well, well. I like how we rescued those people and then we're just like, hang on, we're just going to do some mining. Sorry about your traumatic loss of most of your crewmates, but, you know, just going to get some Tilium. We got FTL, um, FTL fuel to make. Speaking of which. <laughs> Why are they not run? Oh. No? Oh, I guess I just haven't produced any Tilium crystals yet. That's okay. Alright, how are we doing? 4,000 fuel is starting to give me a worry. A great big worry. Alright, we're going to wait until the rest of this stuff is aboard, and then we're going to jump out. What's down there? Okay, now come on. Come on, guys. We gotta get out of here. Stop firing. Stop firing. <laughs> Drones, get back in. Okay, here we go. Let's go. <coughs> right on the edge. Okay, so... Oh, I see. You're just going to come and pick those people up for me? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They're just going to fuck off. No worries. Right. Uh, I actually do need a couple of stacks of... Oh, dear. I can't afford for... I can't afford the fuel. I can afford one fuel. Okay, let's just buy whatever fuel we can. Um, that's... That makes me sad. Uh, but we will get some money out of that. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, so, we also have some FTL charges that can be produced. Please. They're not lighting up. That is a worry. But it's just I don't have enough Tilium crystals. Because uh, we're also making um, chunks of uh, metal ingots. Um, we're doing some refining. It's fine. Uh, okay, I reckon... Where are we now? We're at 7,000 fuel. I reckon that we probably want to jump to the next sector. Um, I need a whack ton more money. Which I could do by running missions, but I want to try and... I want to try and keep us afloat through just manufacturing. Ooh, there's some gas here. 11.9 per second. Holy shit. Oh, yes, please. Well, that's just delicious. It's going to drop. 
but we should get a good amount out of this. Enough to keep us ticking along for a little while. Just Metreon gas. Nom, 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 nom. Look at that. That is a sight to see. Do we have anything that we haven't installed yet? No. Okay. I wonder if we can actually get these filled. No. No, we're starting to hit the upper limits. Alright, well, we're going to wait until this hits zero. And then that means our... Fuel is kind of okay for a little while. FTL is starting to look pretty nice again. Back up to 32 FTL uh, charges. We're down to a 1.4 per second here, which means that these are going to start to fall, which means we're good to go. And we can jump to the next sector and see what we have there. Mmm, okay. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, what do we got in this sector? Well, there's a gas cloud over there, but that's no use to us. Um, there's a shipyard here. That might be something fun to investigate, but we don't have really anything uh, worthwhile uh, selling them at this stage, unless we went to NG94. So we can do a little bit of mining. Oh, shit, no. I do not want a meteor shower, please. Jump! <laughs> uh, and the reason why I don't want a meteor shower is because we don't have any weapons. We have no point defense cannons whatsoever, and being in a meteor shower would be actually quite dangerous for us. Um, okay, so... Let's see what you have for trade. First of all, would you like to buy uh, some compost that I don't want? Um, I guess I could sell some explosives, but I kind of don't want to. FTL charges are getting more expensive. That's nice. Um, so we can make 30 grand. Make, make. Um, a bit of money. Make a bit of cash. Uh, do you have anything that you want to sell to me? Uh, you have basically fuck all. Um, yeah. There's basically nothing here that I want, dude. Unless you've got a... Um, a uh, no, you don't. You don't have a munitions factory. That's sad. That's sad. Um, okay. I mean, I could get another hyperspace scoop, but I don't think we need one of those. Um... Maybe, maybe, no, there's nothing you have that I want. Okay, so thank you. Good day. Um, let's head through to the next sector. Trade out $18,000. Oh, okay. Off you go. Uh, right. $218,000 in the bank. We're doing good on fuel. We've jumped into a meteor shower. Uh, let's um, very quickly jump out. Because I I should have seen if they had cannons uh, or, or point defense cannons at that last place. We will probably take a hit here, but we should be okay. Lovely. Okay, what do we got? Mmm. Alright. 
Very nice. There's a derelict there, but I fear that a derelict is going to come with its own problems. Let's go to this shipyard. Uh, because that does have some gas there as well. Anything else? I mean, we could do some mining here, but again, I worry that there's going to be um, some uh, enemies there that I don't particularly want to deal with. And can't deal with. All right, Metreon gas coming in at 14.6 per second. It does feel like that's getting higher and higher as we progress through the uh, through the sectors. Uh, also, the amount of equipment that's available for us to buy is definitely decreasing. Um, I can afford some Gatling guns and I can afford, no, I can't. I can sell some stuff though. I'll sell one FTL charge. Good. Good. All right, ready? Munitions factory goes here. And then we'll have a Gatling gun. Mm. I think the point defense um, notches down here seem like a nice spot. And then... I think we have one there, and we'll eventually have one here as well. Um, I think that's a logical way to go. Okay. Cables. Munitions factory. I need you, please, to make... So you can make railgun slugs, which is just two metal ingots, and that makes a slug. Because a railgun is like a railgun, right? It uses electromagnetic... Um, doobly-doos to make the things go boom-boom. Cannon shells require explosives and metal ingots, and then bullets is a metal ingot, explosives, and that gives you 50 ammo, and it takes two seconds to have that happen. The crew are now going to come and start loading this up. Um, I will also have some more storage for metal ingots, um, like here. That seems nice. We're going to have ourselves a cable for this. Uh, and we may as well have this. I like to do this. Like that. Do this. To there. Little hiccup, excuse me. And let's get our PDC up and running there. And the other one will be down here, but we don't have one yet. But that is fine. All right. The other thing that I could consider doing is maybe, can I remove armor? No. I can't. Because that'd be a way to like reduce the weight of this sucker. But I can't. But that's okay. All right. So we've got um, 19 FTL charges. We have 11,000 fuel and rising. We're still gathering at 6.2 per second. Um, we have a good amount of Metreon gas stored. It has to be said. Uh, let's have a look at what this situation is like. Okay. We're producing, explos uh, producing bullets. They produce relatively quickly. That's nice. Boom. And there's a there's a stack of bullets. Excellent. Uh, so what I might do is let's create a little storage zone for bullets, bullets, bullets. Uh, we're going to have one of these in front of each of our PDCs um, because that's how I like to do it. And it's also an intelligent way to do it. Uh, and then we're going to need one down here. That's in an awkward location, isn't it? Maybe I should have put it here um, on that side. But that's okay. I do also want to then eventually get some guns. Big cannons. Cause, and braille guns as well. Because we've got the fixings to be able to like have a full layer of railguns here. Have them fully loaded and make our own railgun slugs. 
And as soon as we pop out of hyperspace and someone's there, we could just be like, dead. Delightful. Mm, yes. Uh, wow, look at all the bullets we've already made. Wow. How many have we made so far? Um, we have made 6,200 bullets. Okay, cool. Make some cannon shells instead. Um, and then maybe we'll make some railgun slugs. Because, wow, they actually produce pretty pretty quickly, huh? Like, all of a sudden, we're an arms dealer. Oh, no, these are only 300 per stack. But you do go through them. You do go through them. Okay, so we're making bullets for our own consumption. Then we're going to make... Um, we're going to make some cannon shells to sell. Um, let's see. How much? I would love like a listing of all of my um, stuff. Like weapons active. Yes, yes. Uh, you guys can do that stuff. That's fine. I'm going to smatic. No. I mean, I can see that we've got 62.95 ammo, but I can't see what like other stuff we have. I suppose if I go into here and then say sell all items, so, no, I can just select sell, which does show me that I have f four stacks of cannon shells worth 700 bucks. Um, is that better than bullets, which are worth 1400 bucks? I don't know. I don't know what the what the most effective one is. We've got seven stacks of metal ingots and ten stacks of explosives as well. Um, so we are going to run out of metal ingots before we run out of explosives, uh, which is a shame. But we can always go mining for more things. Um, there's a bunch of ships here that we can't afford. Um, that's cool. And how are we looking on this? We're down to 2.2 per second, uh, which is nice. Uh, I could do, oops, I could do a little bit of a, where's the thickest part of this cloud, but it kind of looks like the whole thing. Uh, maybe like here is where we need to go. How are we looking on that? Eh, it's going up a little bit. All right, so. It's not enough really, not enough to worry about. All right, throttle down. You're just grinding in metal. Um, all right, that's taken care of our fuel situation. So I'm very happy about that. Um, is there anything else in this sector that we care to explore? Um, I mean, I guess we could try and do some mining down here, but I'm not really super keen on that. Let's see what's in the next sector. Um, I mean, this is the deepest I've ever been in the game, that's for sure. What do we got here? Uh, oh, no. The same sector. All right, what do we have? Yes, a little bit of um, of gas that we can go and have a look at. I mean, we could we could try and do another dis dis distress call. We could try and do another dis. Hang on, I know what the problem is. I'm dehydrated. I'm dehydrated and it's making it difficult to speak. Oh my god, it's quarter to four. That's crazy. Good news is there's some gas here. Uh, there is also a... Good grief. Look at that. How many cannon shells have you produced? 186. Yummy.
And now we're out of metal ingots. But that's okay, because these cannon shells made to sit... Oh, well, that's disappointing. I was expecting more. <laughs> um, but that's okay. We made a bit of money. Uh, what about um, defense? Do you have another Gatling gun that I can't afford? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, shit. Um, hmm. There's some balancing that may need to occur here, huh? So I am able to produce, like, almost unlimited stuff, but it's not super, super profitable. Like, I've only got 31 grand. I do prefer to be beer hydrated. And I very much look forward to uh, popping downstairs and enjoying one of those this evening. Well, downstairs, next door. It is. It's good and bad living next to a pub. Good and bad. Um... I mean, it's very convenient. It is also, because it's 1546, it means that in a moment, someone's going to jump up onto my arm and be like, Daddy, please, please, it is time. Um, oh gosh, I'm looking forward to the end of Daylight Savings. I can't tell you. Can't tell you. Actually, is there anything? No. Here, let's go. Correct. And I'm looking forward to it for a couple of different reasons. Um, one, I do like to get up early in the morning and get stuff done. I like doing things in the morning. Um, mm. There's very little going on in this sector as well. What about we take some uh, some contracts on? Are there any... What do you want? 57 stacks of Tillium crystals. Right. You can choose to manufacture the product from raw materials or acquire it through other means. Translation, you can murder someone to get it. Um, I think we need to do some of these. So let's do that. I will also do some across sector transportation. Um, and then we're going to need to go and get some Tilium crystals, probably from here, which is doing me a concern because if there's a derelict there, there's the high likelihood that there's going to be some pirates there. Uh, oh, and one of these is ready? Oh, okay. You have zero stacks of Tilium crystals available for transfer within your fleet. We need 57. Payment will be zero. Contract completed. Oh, for <laughs> Oh, well, that was silly. Um, all right, well, fuck it. Let's... I mean, it doesn't say hostiles... So, maybe... It says there's a derelict, but it doesn't say there's hostiles. Let's see, then. Um, let's just scoot over here. Oh, looky. Looky. There's a whole bunch of stuff out here. A whole heckin' huge amount of stuff. Oh, there's even canisters of Metreon gas. Very interesting. All right, little drones. Make Papa proud. Mmm. What's that? An oxygen maker. Metreon gas. A mining laser. Boxed. You know what I should do? Yes. 
Let's dismantle that. And then I'm going to attach a loader. Oh, this is rotatable now? Oh, that's cool. I'm going to attach a loader here. And we'll pipe that into Metrion gas. And then once it's installed, load Metrion gas. So any gas that we find out there, they can load it into the tanks. Yeah, see? That's nice. My goodness, what a haul. What a great haul. Uh, sadly, ice grinder, scrubber, a cannon. We found a cannon. We found a gas collector. We found a huge tank. Waste treatment, purifier, air duct. Man, what a haul. Okay, this is my new favorite mission type. Um, now I wonder... Whoops, stop. I wonder if it's possible for me. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted at all. No? Okay. I don't think I can, like, shoot the ship. But that's okay. Uh, I don't see any asteroids in this sector, though. Which is making me a little sad. Because I was hoping to find some asteroids. But that's okay. That is okie dokie. Is there another Della? Yes, there is, but there's hostiles there, so we won't go to that one. Um, do we need to worry about... Um, do we need to worry about getting more water? I don't think that we do. I think we're okay for water for now. Yeah, we've got plenty of dirty water left in a small tank there. That's totally fine. Um, let's just... Um, Get out from behind this thing. Uh, and let's see if there's any of this stuff that we want to install. My goodness, my goodness, that is a lot of stuff. Um, I reckon we want that gas connect gas collector. Um, oh, it's a gas collector. Right. Yeah, we want that. Uh, engine door, docking port, docking port, cannon, definitely, actually no, I'm going to put the cannons in the mid, in the midline here. Uh, there's another battery I could do with that. Another thruster would be, would not be, uh, unwelcome. Um, oh yes, we never got around to putting one down there, so that's nice. Um, let's see. I think that's probably about all we need right now. Don't need another mining laser. I can't fit another engine anywhere without taking the... I mean, I could take the docking port off of there, move it elsewhere, and then have another engine in the center. But any more engines we'd need... Uh, we'd definitely need a lot more surface space. Like, I'd need to re uh, kafuble the entire ass end of the thing. Uh, I'm going to sell the rest of this shit. Um, and I'm going to do that... In the next sector. Because. Seems logical. Seems logical. Yup. I also note that we are. Um, not making. Any more FTL charges. Oops. Uh, for the simple reason that we're out of Tilium.
Meteor shower, that's not great. Um, it's alright. PDCs are doing their thing. Let's get that cannon hooked up as well. Uh, alright. Let's see where we landed. Also, why can I hear my engines running? I can't. And this cannon is showing low power. Well, we're okay. We're okay. It's just charging up. All right, what do we got? Uh, so, there is a nebula near that shipyard. We might be able to get a little bit there. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to find any decent... Um, like this colony is probably too far away from that uh, asteroid belt to be able to get us any goodies. Um, I mean, destroying hostiles is really something that I'd love to be doing, but that's that way madness lies. All right, let's get ready. PDCs, don't fail me now. Okay. Any gas? No. Sadly, no. Uh, anything that you would like to buy? Uh, would you like to buy uh, a battery and a huge... I'm going to keep the huge tank. I might want that. I don't need another air duct or CO2 scrubbers at this stage. I don't need an engine. Uh, I can't really run that. I may as well keep the door, I suppose. Docking ports, waste treatment machine. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so all of that, you can have that ice grinder, you can have some compost, some, s no, I'm going to keep that scrap metal, thank you. I will also very much keep this refined Metreon, which I need to load. Um, and I guess that does that, it's 910,000 bucks is, wow, that's great. Um... All right, so let's um let's let that happen. I'll see if they've got anything I want to buy, uh, namely defense. Um, I think those and two rail guns is a good sort of balance. Uh, it's a lot of weaponry, but I think it's okay. So uh, let's go another cannon either side. Slightly spaced out. And then one rail gun either side in the middle. Like that. Beautiful. Uh, I'm also then going to need... I'm going to need a whole bunch of stuff, aren't I? Yeah. Um, and we'll just have a door. We'll have a door on the on the gas collection room. Um, need some cables. Zip. Zap. Zip. Mm-hmm. 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 Lovely. Um, oh, that's interesting. Why is my CO2... Mm, I see. I see. I see. Well, you know what? There's a, a very easy solution to that. Uh, I'm just going to add another storage tank. And we'll just pipe that up like this. Because if we can't make oxygen... or well, sorry. If we have too much oxygen, then all of these other guys stop. So see, now we're okay. No, we're still... Oh, I understand. I understand. I understand. It's okay. It's okay. I'm. I'm. I'm silly. Um, we've got ninety passengers aboard. So as a result, they're doing a lot more breathing than we're used to. 
So that's fine. We can just nip over here. And we can say, get the fuck off my ship. And they'll be happy. Uh, I could do some manufacturing. Uh, some FTL charges. 68 stacks. That's very difficult. Um, that's very difficult, especially considering there's no mineable resources in this uh, sector. At all. Um, anyone that needs to go across sectors? No. Uh, the only things that we have here is one cargo, one passenger. So I'm not really willing to do those. Um, so let's hop. We need some tilium. Real bad. Alright. What do we got in this sector? Yes. No. Bugger. Alright, we can at least get some gas. Uh, which we can sell for fuel. Um, that will do us nicely. Uh, there is another derelict, but it's got hostiles and I don't want to mess with them just yet because while we are beginning to arm ourselves, nowhere near enough. Especially, you know, the ships that we're going to be facing at this level of the game, they're going to be fairly gnarly. Um... How are we looking? How are we looking? Habitation deck is... Okay, we're good on sewerage. That's fine. We are gathering CO... Like, we're, we're pulling CO2. And we are reconverting it to, um, to oxygen, which is grand. Uh, but we're just not doing it at quite a good enough rate. I shouldn't have sold that other uh, CO2 scrubber, huh? Uh, or I need another tank here. That's also a possibility. Which I could do. I could do relatively simply. If I pull out one of these ones and replace it with a huge tank. That would help. Um, but it's fine. Like, we, we'll, we'll get there. We've got... Um, we've got the goods. Uh, let's nip down here. Um, where we can grab some Metreon. I need a loader for this one as well. Um, let's see. And ideally, I need another flippin' refinery. That should increase our fuel production, at least for the short term. Uh, these guys are doing their own thing, and that's totally fine. Um, what else can we ponder here? Well, the first thing I think I should really ponder is uh, we need a railgun slug storage in front of each of these. We need cannon shell storage in front of each of these cannons. Very nice. Um... We've produced 42,000 fuel and 503 explosion, explosives. That's a lot. That's a lot. This is a great deal. Um, where are we? Okay. Um, oh, let's do some hull repair. Nope, we don't need it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so... Again, things are getting thinner. Things are getting less and less. Um, we could... Ooh. 
Ooh, derelict. Very much, yes. Uh, it's a derelict, but it is a distress call. So we could go in and try to rescue them. But we know how that turned out last time. Although we do have a couple more thrusters now. Might be... We might be more successful this time. Let's see. Um, I'm going to let this run down to zero. Uh, so we can get some more Metreon gas aboard. We've got 20,000 fuel at the moment, which is pretty sp pretty tippy top. Um, let these get down to zero or one per second and then we'll... Then we'll bugger off. Um, so yeah, fuel's looking grand. We're well on top of that. Um, the CO2 situation has disappeared, which is great. There is still quite a great deal of CO2 in the atmosphere, but we're slowly, slowly getting through it. Like there's 2,400 CO2 there at the moment. But we've got the buffer space for the oxygen now, so that should help. Um, a medium tank instead of a small tank here, probably not a bad idea. Probably a pretty good idea, quite frankly. I don't know what happens. Huh, that, let's find out. Uh, medium tank. Yes, please. What happens if I dismantle this tank? And then install a medium tank in its place. Will the COT, like, jump by 6,000 points? No. It just... It just fucked off. It just disappeared. Is it still in the tank? No. That is interesting. Um... Very interesting. So if you're ever really high on CO2, just delete the CO2 tank and you're done. <laughs> I mean, look, there's upsides and downsides to that, right? Because CO2 is a reprocessable... Like, I now have 6,000 less CO2 to turn back into oxygen. And that's bad. We still have a good amount of CO2 in the ship, but not as much as I would like. Mm, very interesting. Okay. So let's have a quick slip over to this distress call. We're going to try and dock with them. And maybe we'll find some goodies. But we really desperately need some Tilium. Hello? Hello? How are you, stranded ship? Would you like to be rescued? Alright, here we go. We're gonna come into here. Um... Okay, there's, um... No information on that. All right. So I'm happy for my little drainy boys to go and salvage shit for e for us uh, while we try and dock and rescue 79 people. And it's not telling me how long it has before the ship blows. And I'm guessing maybe it's not going to, question mark. Uh, we can only hope. We can only hope. They are venting. Um, they're only 2% damaged. Which is not that bad. It's not that bad. Alright. Let's hold up here. And we're going to... Rotate. Rotate. I'm going to go butt first. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Easy does it. Just ease it in. So thankfully, this ship is stationary this time. Which means I don't have to use the manual thingy. I can just... Nope. Oh dear. What was I saying? Okay, we're docked. All right, welcome aboard, folks. Uh, if you'd like to bring me your carbon dioxide, that'd be wonderful. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, 34 out of 79, lovely jubbly. Um, it'd be nice if I could like ransack the rest of the stuff that's on their ship, but this is ransackable goodness as well. There appears to be a reasonable amount of fuel in here, uh, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, happy with that. Drop them off at the nearest starbase or colony. You betcha. All right. Uh, so we could probably undock. Um, and we might just um, get a little bit closer to this stuff to save our little dudes from having to go too far. Um, oh, yeah. We get a lot of fuel out of this. A lot of fuel. Not a great amount of Metreon gas. Oh, there's some refined Metreon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So there's, there's definitely been a good amount of, um, of stuff that we've harvested out of this little ship. Very nice. Very nice. Um, not a great amount of FTL. In fact, zero FTL. Um, no tilium crystals. Um, not a great amount of anything, honestly. With the exception of like a whole bunch more. Like, oh, there's cannons. There's another FTN, FTL drive. Um, there's a chemical lab. Another FTL drive. A CO2 scrubber. Mm -hmm. Yes, might, might want to have a look at that. Uh, there is some scrap metal though. That's nice. That's handy. Uh, what are you guys set to make? Uh, Tilium. All right. You do, do you want to switch over to scrap metal for a bit for me? And then I'm going to set this guy to make... Railgun slugs for us. Um, I think that's going to be good. Let's also install one more of those cannons, which is where exactly? Oh, there's two more. Fucking fantastic. Absolutely. Just delightful. I'll fucking take it. Uh, okay, well, that one up. Anything else that we want? Sewage pipes, CO2 scrubber, refinery. Uh, oh, Wait, yes, I want a refinery. Where, though, can I place said refinery? Well, I could put it up in here. So, like, right about there. And then when we cable it up like that, we can then pipe it up. Uh, we will actually have to wait for it to be installed. Actually, wait a minute. That's better. Uh, hold up. If you would like, please, to make Metreon gas for me, um, you require Metreon gas to come in here, and then refined Metreon comes out. Great. So now we have more the ability to refine more Metreon gas, which is what these two uh, are going to need. That, though, doesn't really matter too much because at the moment, our fuel system is... Well, these are output blocked, which means our fuel system is full. And that's great. Uh, that's a nice place to be. Uh, we've got 14% in the tank so far as Metreon gas goes. Uh, a little bit more refined Metreon waiting to go in here. We should actually have a tank between the refined Metreon and the chemicals. Yes. Uh, ooh, no. Okay. So, suggestion for future. 
these tanks you need to be able to you should be able to right click to like say empty this tank that'd be nice um i've got a small tank that'll do let's just let's just plonk that there and then pipe that in so we can have a buffer of refined metrion uh which seems logical and off we pop off we fuck uh so we need to drop these kids off at the nearest uh, shipyard or location. I mean, this one seemed fun. Sure. Spin her up. I am... Almost ready for combat. I'm also almost ready for a drink uh, of water. I'm very thirsty. Uh, right. What can we see here? Nothing of consequence. Nothing that I want. I do actually want a stack of these or two. Confirm. Uh, I do actually want... To sell. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa, yeah. Oh, I've got another gas collector. Uh, I think I've got enough gas collectors. Um, I keep that uh, chemical lab. You can have those energy cells as well as um, some compost. I will keep that. I will keep that. I need to actually... Yeah, I'll sell this. I, I, I've got plenty of hyperspace isotopes. Good. Rescue completed. 79 people rescued. Payment. $296,000. Good humanitarian rating. Not great. It's It must be said. Like, if I were doing a lot more... Um, a lot more missions. Uh, like, rescue missions. My... Um, Humanitarian rating would be a lot higher, but I've not done very many at all. Uh, I'm owed some money for trade. Let's see what the next sector has to offer. Nice. Hello. Hello. All right. So we've got some goodness here. There's a distress call. Uh, there is going to be a good amount of um, of gas to be had in here. But I want to go straight into this asteroid field. And we want to get some mining underway. But before we do... Energy. Reactor. Confirm. I want one more reactor. I think we need it. Uh, let's go into the interior view and let's plug him in. Right about there. And of course, it's the wrong way round again. So that's, you know, just hilarious. Uh, cables. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Okay. So, with that taken care of... Ooh, actually, I know what I also need. Resources. Food. Groovy. Get that taken care of. Make sure we've got plenty of food. We've got some good ammo. Let's jump. All right. Oh, no, this isn't a gas. This isn't a gas sector. What am I doing? Uh, this is a mining sector. And my goodness, is there a good amount of it? Okay, so let's pop up here. No? Okay, that's fine. Precious ores. Mmm, my precious. Now, the reason... Why I installed that extra reactor is because, yeah, we really do need it. All right, lots of precious ores to be had here. Fingers crossed, we also find some tilium. Okay. 
metallic, metallic, metallic. There's some tilium. Um, let's go here. Yes, there's some tilium in here. Not a huge amount, but an amount. Yeah, you're right. Um, let me just, I'll leave that running. I'll be back in a sec. some water as requested as instructed as is necessary I think we need another smelter I should have picked one up at the last store. Tilium. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> so here's the other interesting thing um, that I notice about this. Because free roam is basically they've just removed the black hole, like the the evil, can evilly thing, and so as you go along, the amount of money you make goes up, but the scarcity of resources also widens, so it gets harder to mine things. Uh, it's no bad thing, but. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to fix that. Oh, thank Christ for that. Um, what's this one? Mm, more tilium. Pew, 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 pew. All right. So let's have a look inside now and see how we've done. So we've got a good amount of tilium here. Uh, this guy is said to be scrap metal. That should be metallic. Pardon me, metallic minerals. Um, this guy is currently set to make railgun slugs, of which we have 64. So I'm going to change this guy over to make cannon shells instead. How many bullets do we have? 7,000. We've only got 22 cannon shells. So let's make some more cannon shells. Uh, next. FTL charges are being produced, um, but we only have one oven making tilium at the moment. So it'll just be a slow and steady process, and that's fine. Um, fuel is bingo. Uh, so we're out of Metreon gas entirely. Um, 
And as a result, we are eating into our fuel reserve by hanging out here. But, nope, sector map. I reckon that one there, that one there is going to be a good one. We're going to get some good gas out of that. Uh, okay, so let's um, prepare to jump. Um, bring the drones home. God knows where they are, but it's all right. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Unless, of course, they're on the other side of the map and they can't... Like, no, nope, there they are. Let's go. All right, what have we done? 5.4 per second. Not great. Not great. It has to be said. Um, where's the thickest pass? Let's just steer in that direction. And... Oh, yeah, look at it. That's pretty. So, as we're going in... Nah, it's still, it's still dropping. But at least we'll get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of gas. We can refuel a little bit. Um, and then, considering the time, I think it might be YOLO o'clock. What do you guys think? Yeah? Is it YOLO time? You know what YOLO time is. Alright. So, we're making cannon shells. We're going to have 62 cannon shells. 64 cannon shells. These cannons are loaded and ready. There's only four cannon shells in there somehow? Oh, I see. There must be one up the pipe. Okay. It is time. Our star contact, two ships. Our maximum velocity is nine. But this is like the uh, the Nostromo trying to come at you, you know? This is like with its huge fucking thing full of ore on the back of it. it it's not going to be able to get anyone. Um, so let's not, let's not do that. It's very unlikely that I'm going to be able to take these suckers down. Uh, but there's two hostile new ships here. Let's see what we can do. What is the range of my railgun? Let's see. Pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. I mean, ideally, your railgun should actually be... Ooh, he's taking a hit. Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. He's hit me with railguns. But he's moving into cannon range, and that's exactly where I want him. Because the cannons are what is going to do the damage. Firing. Alright, how much damage are you taking? 38%? Good. We're at 30 already. PDCs are opening up. Battery low, that's not grand. Oh, come on, you bastard. Yes! Fucking got him. Oh, oh shit, pull around.
So it's on. I don't want to take any more damage on that side. Thank you very much. Have a go at this side, mate. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got you. I got you. Uh, I, I, do I got you? I'd like to got you. Let's uh, pull it down to half throttle then. Cannons firing. We are low power, which is not a good place to be in the middle of a fucking battle, but hey-ho. Um, wait. I got a great idea. Stop refining shit while we're trying to fight. Yes. Beautiful hits. Whoop. That's a swing and a miss. Try again. Try again. How are we looking? He's still right within range. I wouldn't mind a railgun snap as well if you could handle that. Yes, thank you. That's good. Ooh, they're drifting out of range. All right. Oh, hello. Hang on, he's coming around. Ah, yes. Swung around for a railgun hit. Look at that. Hmm. Well, I gotta say. That went far better than I thought it was going to. And as a result, we get some free shit. 4.9... Uh, 4, 490,000 bucks. Well worthwhile. But, as a reminder... Uh, missions... Car combat missions... They, uh, they can and will result in the eventual destruction of your ship. Um, it's just inevitable that you will die. Because there's no way at the moment to fully repair your ship. You can partially using your drones but there's no way to fully repair all damage and there's no way to change your flagship either so if you built a new ship then oh we're actually getting gas while we're doing this that's nice <laughs> oh bless so another bunch of holy shit Um, well, that's pretty, uh, delightful. That's very delightful. Um, and we're basically bingo on storage space, and... Who's that? Is that one of my dudes? That's not one of my dudes. Hang on. <laughs> oh, he's above my ship. Um... Okay, well, with that done, actually, what, am I, what we might do is we might just create another storage zone there that's just a regular... No, no, any cargo. Any cargo. Um, and I think, we, I think we're good to go. I think that's, I think that's a good place to, to leave it off. We YOLO'd and were successful. Um, which is always lovely to do. Um, so maybe we'll um, we'll head back to this shipyard over here. Um, we're on to the next sector. Or we could YOLO. Nah, we'll just, we'll just head home. Unless, is there a button for... Because this is a shipyard, right? Um... Hmm. All right. 
time for me to mosey off into the sunset. Friends, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this little finagle. Oh, hi, Angus. I hope you enjoyed this little look at um, Alpha 2 of The Last Starship. I sure as shit enjoyed tinkering, tinkering around with it and being pretty chip at, at building the things. And But, you know, we went, like, without any cheesiness, we went from nothing to fully armed, making our own fuel, heaps of fuel, heaps of, like, we're on top of things. We're pretty self-sufficient. So, it's good. So far, I like that. We've got, we've got 67 FTL charges. It's hilarious. Uh, anyway, friends, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all next time.